Dimension 20 Live presents Fantasy High Sophomore Year. I'm your humble Dungeon Master, Brandon Mellon. With me as always are our Intrepid Heroes. Say hi, Intrepid Heroes. Hello! Oh, wonderful. Uh, uh, gang, I'll tell you what, we got a couple of announcements. Uh, here today. Um, a couple promo things. Uh, our side quest, Tiny Heist, the finale of Tiny Heist comes oh. out in a couple hours. Whoa! Five hours from right now, the finale of uh, Tiny Heist with our friends Jess Ross and Lily Dew and the entire McElroy family is uh, uh, playing in it. And the thrilling conclusion uh, premieres tonight, so make sure to go check that out. If you've been waiting to binge it, you can binge it starting uh, at midnight Pacific tonight. Um, uh, also, a very special trailer uh, just might be appearing on the Dimension 20 YouTube channel Wait, sometime in the next week. Uh, what? You guys are going to lo truly lose your goddamn mind. What? So, we Wait, know are about you serious? This. We oh, did not I know about this. Quite, what are you talking about? I am quite serious. This is the first we're hearing about this. <laughs> I, I try to look this at it today. This is a real time reaction. It is Bananas. <laughs> it is fucking bananas. Um, so head oh over to the Dungeon 20 YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also ring that bell so you get notifications because uh, you're going to see a bunch of awesome uh, stuff specifically next week. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Get ready, gang. Also, something fun for all of you today. Uh, listen, it's no secret that Dimension 20 has got the best fans in the entire world. Woo! Woo! You guys truly, uh, you're the reason that we're here and able to do this. Um, and they're doing a cool little thing now. We're right in the middle of Galeer Week, baby. Oh. Oh. Hashtag Galeer Week on Twitter and Tumblr, any place where fan art and fan fiction is created and designed. Celebrating <laughs> Fantasy High's uh, very favorite sad dad. Uh, so you can go engage with your fellow fans and see all the awesome stuff they're doing. Up to and including hot Galeer. Which is uh, wow, no. does it exist? Temperature wise? What do you think? Yeah, exactly. Is he just wearing is like he a swimsuit? Yeah, it's, it's 35 is he degrees centigrade outside uh, and he's a demon. Uh, uh, Turning down that thermostat. There yeah. is a point where the stories leave our authorship and enter the world <laughs> of how they exist amongst the people that uh, cherish them. And if they determine that Galir is hot, uh, no matter how hard we try, we may not be able to stop them. I think, fan <laughs> artists, your aim this week is to draw a Galia that is so hot that even Lou is convinced of hot Galia. <laughs> Literally, Ooh. science could not do that. There's no, there's no The tits. challenge has been put forth. I'm rooting wow. hard for hot Galia. I yeah. believe it. I'm gonna start a Twitter account just to evaluate hey. Hot Galio <laughs> fan art. Uh, uh, incredible. Yeah. We have our Why first... do you have a Finsta? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, uh, Galeer's pouty lips. Yeah. Speaking of hot Galeer, <laughs> Galeer's feeling pretty hot right now on wow. the first circle of wow. hell. Wow. Smoking. Wow. Pretty solid segue. <laughs> Honestly, I, that wasn't yeah. planned. A little, 10 out of 10. Hey. Um, uh, smoke rises from craters across the blasted plain of Avernus. A sky of flame roiling sea of horror burning to the edges of the horizon. Aloft in the sky, a whirling orifice of flame and smoke deposits an endless stream of screaming mutilated souls that falls forever into the bottomless pit where the spiral descending trail leads to wrought iron gates. The dwelling place and dominion of the absent Gorthalax the Insatiable. Last week on Dimension 20, uh, our party was split. Uh, uh, Fig, Riz, Galir, and the Hangman were deposited on one side of the Hellish Portal for a tribunal to discuss the absence of Gorthalax the Insatiable by several devilish potentates. Uh, and a recess was called because, amazingly, Fig, uh, in, a, in an ongoing streak of Fig telling the truth very persuasively. And don't get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that uh, Gorthlax the Insatiable was uh, trapped in a gem. Uh, so there was a recess called, uh, and the four of them are under house arrest, while the rest of our uh, uh, bad kids are still in Arborly, the uh, wood elf and gnomish community uh, at the edge of the forest of the Nightmare King on their quest 
to retrieve the Nightmare King's crown. Um, you see deep in the bottomless pit that our four companions, the Hangman, Riz, Fig, and Galir, uh, sort of have the run of the place to themselves uh, as the tribunal is taking care of some business and doing some research in the interim. Wait, aren't there five? Isn't there a retro? Retch rot. Retch yes. Rot. For those at home, retch rot is spelled W R E T C H R O T. Literally, the words retch and rot put together. Um, retch rot, who is a horrifying little scorpion-tailed imp made of figs' own blood. Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, uh, begins to f uh, uh, also his wings are much smaller than his body. So there's a lot of like him flying and kind of like he's kind dragging. Of like a penguin, like he can't yeah, fly. he's like mostly he's like mostly hovering. It seems like he needs some added propulsion from like whipping his tail back and forth. The wings are just kind of enough to keep him aloft. This tracks that this would come for me. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, he says, "Ah, mistress of the pit, and you." Friends and companions, I see here you have a most fearsome goblin. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. been frightened by his fearsome hiss. Yeah, Riz has got That's a pretty mean hiss. To where would I show you in this the demesne of your father? Well, I guess is there like a balcony that looks over all the um, murderers and liars plummeting into their death? A what? A balcony. You're sort of walking down this ledge where there's no railing. There's no, there's, um, uh, Just somewhere you could like smoke a cigarette and set up a quick teen zone or anything like that. You are looking for the <laughs> teen zone of the bottomless pit? <laughs> Metaphorically. Um, perhaps, yes. Um, uh, you see that, uh, Retrot says, a couple of levels down, right this way, uh, and begins to circle you down the bottomless pit. Um, as you travel further and further, you eventually, there's, you see there's no railing anywhere on the ledge, so you just get to a place where there's a little kind of stony jut that you can come out here. Um, you see that Retrot says, you might imagine that uh, safety regulations are very minimal here in Avernus. Yeah. No railings or anything like that. We'll take care. You good, Riz? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely careful. Do we need him to sign something? Yes. Wait, no, 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 it may well be if the shadow cat has some ways to defend herself from the eyes of the arch devils, then maybe you would be safer with her present. Wait, what are you implying? I'm saying maybe shadow cat can't mess with me here. Can't mess with you here? I don't know. Um, you see that. Um, oh, I hadn't even considered that. Yeah, I might just not sleep. <laughs> no, um, you should definitely sleep. I mean, if you want to stay up all night, that's also cool. <laughs> <laughs> Galir speaks up and says, I've had a moment to process and I want to apologize. Back there in the court, I know the reason I'm here was sort of to help with legal stuff and yeah. I kind of, I honestly choked back there. Right? <laughs> you kind of did. The, the motorcycle was a bigger help than me by pretty considerable distance. <laughs> um, it's so, okay, Galir. I appreciate it. I, I am actively looking for opportunities to be of more use, so very well. Yeah, you're always of use. Hangman goes, mm. uh, You are too, Hangman? Oh. Sorry, he was not fishing for a compliment, <laughs> but that's actually very meaningful. <laughs> so hey, man, was just me. Here. Um, you see that Retrot looks and says, I do not know of what use the sad elf is, but I will say, very wise to bring a blood pet with you here to the first level. Surely there is much blood in his body. <laughs> much blood in whose body? Galeers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> baby, that is not... <laughs> I'm sorry, is my new name, baby? 
I'm not trying for it to be. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it absolutely seems like it's from your honest cannon. It seems like it. Would you like to wrap me in a swaddling glove? No, because that will only solidify the baby thing, which I'm going to try my best not to say. The blood is off limits in this party, okay? If you, if you need to feed anyone, you come get it from me. And he bites into your hand. <laughs> this is the stuff I'm made of! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Um, um, <laughs> uh, Red, Red Shroud, are there any uh, highlights of uh, Gorthalag? Yes! Many highlights, there are. I would be happy to show you rooms of treasure, dark studies with ancient grimoires and tombs. Yeah. The tomes, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the... Um, you see that uh, Retrot begins to fly you down. Um, Riz, I have a question. What's up? I was wondering if we shouldn't... I was wondering if... if because they took a recess, right? Uh-huh. I, don't, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the lore. I've been kind of busy. What? I haven't really been... You took us to hell. I know, but you and Adine have been doing all this research. I haven't been paying a ton of attention, so I need to run this by you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we didn't come to hell. <laughs> Why don't you just give up the info, you oh, knock? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little nerd. Tell the cool, tell the cool girl nerd. about your nerd things. Yeah, you think, dang man. I, I hate when the ball rides on me. <laughs> well, play your cards right and I'll make sure it doesn't. Oh, yes. Um, How am I outnumbered here for paying attention? <laughs> I'm being bullied for paying attention. Where's that arm? I'm just wondering. Okay, so... <laughs> Should I, if, if, so they took a recess and Gorthalax is not, if I were in charge, mm -hmm. so they needed, they needed um, Gorthalax to enter something in a gem, but he needed to be a special devil, right? If he was, if I took his place, if I became the, the leader here, don't... would that invalidate him in the gem? The... Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. The okay. devils here aren't, tra they're, I, I think it's because his kingdom is like, because he's not looking over his kingdom because he's gone. But it, I'm saying like the, the um, Adine's mom, right. is Kalina is using uh, Gorthalax in the gem yeah. because he's powerful, but if, if I took his title, would he no longer be powerful? And they would need me in a gem to get through. Um, I'm gonna say, go ahead and give me uh, an investigation check. Whoa. Mm, uh, that's okay. 19? Um, very much a long shot, because in most of the indications about what the gem is for, it's to get past a barrier. So, so the question... Already, already got past. Already okay. In. I thought that might be the case. I yeah. just had to figure it. It seems like it's more about Gorthalax being high-ranking than it is about it being specific anything specific ranking. about him. Like, okay. there's a good chance that you could have gotten them in. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I can get into a lot of places, but yeah. But maybe if you take over this, then you can get us in. Uh, oh. Maybe you couldn't have gotten in before. Oh. But now you could get in. Retro. <laughs> does that does that add up? How's what does what add up? Retro. If I become the thief of this. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Calm down, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to make things to me. I'm trying to make things to you, Averis. If I become the thief of this place, will I be able to get us, will I be able to move us through to the uh, Nightmare Forest, the Silver? If you were to become the dark mistress of the bottomless pit, then yes, your mortal blood puts you outside the hierarchy of devil folk, so there are very few pathways for you to claim your father's throne, but is there may yet be? You see the hangman kind of goes, this guy's a freak. <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy rules. <laughs> uh, you see, the hangman says, it is true, not all devils will seize these thrones for themselves. Um, see, uh, Retrot smiles and says, I, for example, am simply a lowly imp made from the blood of a greater devil than I. And the fact that the devil that made me is half mortal lets you know how truly lesser of a devil I am. And this contraption is filled 
with one of the least devils of them all. Uh, the hangman goes, hold your tongue. Um, and he goes, ah, what if he killed me? <laughs> <laughs> well, it came from my blood. So yeah. <laughs> checks out. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, let's let's find those tongs. I just had to bring that up. <sighs> the study of darkness. This wrought iron gate opens, and you see before you mahogany shelves littered with. Uh, black scaled tomes as though in the scales of serpents and dragons wrought in gold. You see that there is a little roll top writer's desk with a very evil little pot of ink and a very evil jet black quill. And you see a fireplace with a smoldering pile of embers at the center. I like my cigarette. <laughs> and you see, um, uh, you look around and see that, um, uh... I was just about to say, don't touch anything. <laughs> Red <Rashad. laughs> This is my dad's stuff. Right, right. This is literally, Sorry. this represents half of this me. This just seems like it was made to, like, corrupt me. Like, I'm gonna grab some weird book and then disappear into a book. I'll just knock you out if you do. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, deal. <laughs> you see, um, uh, Retrot turns around and says, Indeed, many tomes there are that would steal one's soul here. But there is also a sizable collection of tomes that would do no such thing and simply contain aeons and aeons of infernal precedent and common law. There's also a small fiction section. <laughs> All right, what are you looking for? Uh, I guess I'd like to look around and see if there's anything about... Um, this like unnamed god or the shadow cat or anything. I would think if the devils oppose the demons then there might be some info on the demons. Cool. Um, is there anything else you're looking for while you're here? I guess also to find out if we can get Fig to take over um, for Gorthalak so we could get us into the woods. Seems like a pretty slim chance that I could do that though since he, as he pointed out, I'm half mortal and therefore lesser. Um. Uh, you, uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. I'm not rolling good. Uh, 16. Um, 16. Uh, I'll, I'll also do an investigation. Sure, Just in it. case. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go, here we go now. Oh, now. Let's see what I, uh, can baby, can, can oh. baby give fig advantage? Uh, if anything, baby would give disadvantage. Um, <laughs> uh, but. Got a six. Six, okay, cool. All is right with the world. I mean, with baby's disadvantage. Baby's just, uh, baby's just screaming <laughs> while we're going through the books. Okay. Uh, Galir rolled an 11. Um, uh, you, as you begin to sort of parse through, with a 16, you don't find anything about the shadow cat here. Okay. Um, this is obviously a smaller library, it looks like. This is not the most exhausted infernal library in the world. Um, is there any, like, um, I really secretively look and see if there's any infernal dating advice books. Uh, infernal dating advice books? Give me another investigation check. 17. Um, uh, yeah, you see that there is a book, uh, there's an ancient tome that is written in like very archaic, but it's a book for devils that have been promoted into their equivalent of like succubus and incubus roles on how to like seduce mortals and capture their soul. Um, there's some really graphic sexual diagrams in it that look <laughs> painful and bad and usually are like, the easiest way to draw out the soul is either through the eyes or the penis. And you're like, this is hard. <laughs> this is not fun or good, right? Um, uh, you toss that away. Um, uh, you see that, uh, Riz, you found some interesting stuff. Okay. Um, there is an entire series of like encyclopedia-esque books uh, that are about coup law. And you see that basically what it is is that uh, there is a legal structure in place within the Nine Hells that allows for coups. In fact, they seem to be very encouraged. Okay. Um, uh, and there's a whole legal way of dealing with uh, a devil killing another devil to assume their spot. Um, there might be some fruitful stuff here to look at. Okay, so 
So if we went, I guess I'll grab it. Yeah. Um, grab it. Yeah, sir. I mean, I already did my investigation check. Assuming I can't look in it now. Uh, you can't look in it right now, okay. but you found some interesting stuff. Um, Retrot says, um, if you would like to look at the hot tubs, there are also some other wonderful highlights, treasures of your fathers and other various things. Yeah, let's go look at some treasures. Sweet. Um, you grab a couple books under your thing, um, head off, uh, and you go back out onto the ledge, walk down, another giant gate opens up, and you see a huge hall opens, and this one is uh, built into the red stone. It's like dusty and like sort of rough hewn. And you see that there are seven suits of armor what? holding weaponry. And you see that uh, they gleam with intense infernal light. Don't touch anything. Uh, each of the armors also comes <laughs> with its own sort of like weaponry on it. I start uh, flicking the one of the wheels of my skateboard. <laughs> um, they all have different weapons. Different weapons on them. Um, you see that uh, they're all like very different colors, by the way, too. Um, uh, and the one directly, and it's, so there's sort of like three facing each other, and then one that is like the primary one that is this insane bone white skeletal armor with a huge underbite tusk maw thing. Um, and you see that the weapon that the armor is holding is like a massive spiked net. The weapons are all weird kind of looking. Uh, as you look at them, Retrat says, Welcome to the Hall of Sin. And herein lie the armors of sin. One for each of the seven. And your father's prized armor, the armor of gluttony, of course. <laughs> right. Hungry, hungry boy. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> hey, hey, Riz. Yeah. I want to message just Riz. Okay. It's kind of fucked up that this is half of me, right? <laughs> this I is think bad. It's more hell and it being like a little blood monster than it is you. Okay. Yeah. Message over. <laughs> um, I still uh, look haunted. <laughs> uh, so you look around. Uh, there's a whole bu There's like a suit of armor all made of mirrors. There's a suit of armor that's all in like brilliant gold with this enormous fucking halberd. Ooh, there's yeah. this giant red armor that has like two double sided flails, like scourges that are all spikes and shit. Um, Which one is Lust? Uh, you look at the Lust one. The Lust one is jet black. It's a uh, black leather stitched together with like a zipper over the mouth. Uh, it's like this intense like kink armor. Don't you feel like Kristen would love this one? <laughs> I, Retro, not that I trust you at all, but if we touch any of this, we're gonna like die, right? Die and go mad! <laughs> cool. Yeah. cool. Um, uh, he looks around. Um, uh, he points at the, the bone white one and the armor of gluttony. He points at the gold one that says the armor of pride. He points to the one you're looking at and says the armor of lust. <laughs> if you were to don the armor of lust, the power of that sin would flood your body, make you invincible, unstoppable. But the armor will find the lust inside you. Prey on it. Drive it to the forefront of your mind and soul. Take you over. Perhaps you would win the battle, but you would be irrevocably lost forever. <laughs> Can we touch the armor without putting it on, or is the mere act of touching it? corrupting in its own. Touch it! Why do we want to touch the armor? Because we can convince someone else to put it on. You should touch it! <laughs> Why? Do, okay, if we're gonna touch any of the armor, yeah. then we shouldn't touch any of it. <laughs> Your dad's armor makes more sense than horny armor. Riz says that really quietly. Horny armor. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't thinking about touching the horny armor. I was thinking, yes, this would be a nice Christmas gift for Kristen. Uh, you see, Galir <laughs> says, I have discovered the weapon of the armor of lust, and I am upset. We should leave this place at once. <laughs> should we? Galir. Yes. No, I don't. What? Say what you want to say. I... Do you want... Here, I'll message you. Does... 
do you think Galir needs some new armor? I know, that's what I was but wondering too. But he would, he would die. Too. He would die. What, but, okay, think of what sin would he be the most <clears throat> protected from? Anger? Would he just become like a sex machine if we gave him the blessed one? It's been quiet for a moment and I can tell you're messaging. I'm not going to put on the kink armor. Please stop. It's okay. You see, Rajat okay. says, ah, there are more treasures yet to see. Yeah, let's okay, look yes, at the other treasures. Let's look at the other treasures. He's been talking about the lust so armor for a while. You can already <laughs> see the fan art. Um, he says this, and there is no part of my body that is erogenous. I have no way to get these feelings out. Oh. That's sad. Here, um, I guess I try and put more blood on Clear. the ground. Clear. <laughs> he says, "Don't give him stuff to do stuff with." Yes. That's fine. I was trying to build him some more parts. We can do it before, after we. Retrot doesn't need parts. Drop this it. is not the priority. Drop off parts for Retrot right before we go. Okay. Let, when Retrot has the place to himself, <laughs> Retrot can go nuts. He can help the floor. Well, I think Retrot going nuts. Baby, well. baby, 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 home alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep let's I keep looking. Also, um, you see, Retro brings you to some chambers that you see that these are more. They're almost like infernal, like romance novel. Like there's silk beds. It's mm -hmm. nice here. Um, uh, there's like a little wash basin with cool water, and this one is like white marble and like mirrored masquerade masks. And there's like, ooh, it's like sexy Venetian infernal here. I like um, masks. Uh, <laughs> you. Retro brings you to these quarters. Uh, you can go ahead and make so another. Hot. Like Tom Cruise. I was just made. thinking how there's nobody worse to go to hell with than Riz. <laughs> just like, let's not touch anything. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make another investigation check as you are taking, looking at the books. You know what? I'm going to roll with my little beans. Yay! Really bad. Little beans. <laughs> the little beans suck. Hell no. <laughs> can I, can I roll an investigation 20, check? 20, right? Or, does or, it, or uh, should I, got, I not? I only got a 16. 16. Yeah, go for it. What did your beans say? 16 as well. Oh, toe to toe. <laughs> um, cool. Um, just you, a little frazzled, that's all. <laughs> um, think about the lust. So Riz, thing. what I'm gonna roll that 16 as is, you, I'm gonna let you roll again later, but it's just that you are you have so many of these books and you're going through them and they're kind of fruitless. So it's just, you're like hacking away at it, Great. basically. Um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, what do Fig and Galir? I guess you guys are also like looking at books. Like, yeah. What are these Venetian masks about, or is this just de decor? Uh, you see that Retrot says, Ah, each of these masks belongs to one who thought that they could claim the throne of the bottomless pit. Now they watch as their hubris is punished forever. It doubles as decor. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, true that. Looks good. Um, you look out and see, uh, you know, Galir takes a book, uh, and after a certain point, I think Fig and Galir, uh, get kind of tired. Um, Retrot brings you food, um, you know, um, oh, as you go through the mirrors of this place, make a perception check. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. I might have okay perception. Nope, I don't. My rolls 17! Cool. Bad. Eleven. Um, as you are walking through here, uh, you see a long mirror through a hallway, and there's a moment where you do you have any uh, disguises active on you as you move through here? No. Mm -hmm. So you're there's no illusion to you. Um, <clears throat> you see though that Retrot flying just looks like a drop of blood. Like his reflection is sort of what he started oh. as as he moves along. So it looks like it's not only this mirror might be like a home security thing of like showing illusions and shape change things. <gasps> Is Shadowcat with me? Uh, in the mirror? Yeah. Uh, you do see Kalina walking after you. Oh, no! Hey, bitch! Uh, You're uh, in hell. Um, <laughs> Kalina looks over at you, uh, smiles, waves from the mirror, um, and you see that she, uh, uh, goes and appears not only in the mirror but in your vision in the hallway. It looks at you and says, Nice books. Thanks. Uh, she says, um, She says, You're having a hard time figuring them out. Uh, I'm going to go out for a constitution. We'll take a walk near the ledge. 
and you see that she walks out of the hallway. Um, you also, uh, 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 you guys hear, hear the hangman go, what's going on? Uh, you see that the motorcycles here in the hallway, in the mirror, uh, there is a completely hairless, soot-covered, jet-black dog with burning eyes Aww. and burning light coming out of his mouth, like a big, almost like hyena body style. Like his front paws and legs are like big and his back kind of slopes down from a big ridge on his back. Hey man, this is your true nature. What? This Ooh. is who you really are. <laughs> oh. oh no. It's so cute. No, 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 I am not cute. <laughs> I, I scratch his chin. Stop it, I have no chin, I'm not a dog in my motorcycle. Um, and you see he scoots off. Uh, but yeah, you see that, that uh, when Red was referring to the least devil, it looks like the hangman was originally a hellhound. Aww. Um, Aww. Uh, I wonder what the they have. Baby and doggy. <laughs> um, I have a doggy. It's, I mean, you guys don't book. Um, cool. Oh yeah, is there anything that we have? Oh, there? let's, can we just, I just yeah, want to dump my money and see if there's any illusions in my in my. Yeah, what were cash. we looking for? We were looking for a spell book. I don't we're know. Oh, we have, I hold the books in front of the mirror just to make sure there's nothing weird in there. All looks good to you. All looks good. Mm -hmm. There what about this... my coins? You hold up your coins. Um, uh, no, you don't see any illusion or shape change or anything like that on your coins. I hold up the picture to the mirror. Uh, you hold up the picture to the mirror. Oh, now hold on. <laughs> now I've got to actually, this is a complex enough thing that I've got to actually yeah, think yeah, about yeah. this. Um, <laughs> we'll still while Brandon does some yeah. Okay. Um, guys, how was your week? What, do a, have any what other things do we have to hold up in front of this? Uh, in the mirror, you don't see Kalina. Okay. So it is, she's in our minds. Yeah. Um, shit. Uh, hey, I just wanted to ask you, are you okay that we hold up this picture of your dad all the time? Mm -hmm. Oh. It seems like a really messed up thing to have to do. Oh, that's a really nice. A single day. Oh no, it's great. I like I like seeing my dad. He's been gone for a long time. Okay, just had to check in. Thank you. Appreciate you hear it. a voice in your ear, Riz, say, uh, "Do you want to see your dad again?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Who are you talking to? What's going on? Yeah, what? <laughs> um, you see, uh, you hear the voice in your ear say, uh, tell Fig, Galia, or the motorcycle, and the deal's off. It's not an illusion. He's really here, and I can really show him to you. Oh. He's really here. If he's really here, she so. says, they're on to you right now. Don't talk to me for another 20 minutes. Shake them. And then her voice vanishes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hold my little, just really secretly hold my little eye to feather in the mirror and just see what it looks like. Is it just a feather? A beautiful, brilliant, uh, golden orange feather. Okay. Um, Why don't um, we get... I'm going <clears> to... <throat> go grab a lot of stuff and just kind of put it in front of this mirror and see if there's any other illusions or anything I can figure out. Yeah. If you guys want to. Very well. I shall set up on the sofa and see what's happening in the kitchen here. I don't know that they will have what they need for frittatas, but we can always try. Yeah. <laughs> um, you said you're not useful. Ha. Huh. <laughs> uh, you see that uh, uh, the hangman says, I shall assist in this endeavor as well, but uh, he says, I will guard this dwelling place, Mistress Faith, against any incursions from demons or devils. Um, and you when see, we're down here, you can call me Fig the Unfaithable. Ha! Ah, a right. title! Yeah. Um, you see that um, Retrot says, Mistress, let me show you to all of the amenities of this villa within the bottomless villa. pit. Okay, cool. can, you, can I ask a question? Yeah. If I had extra parts, where would they go? Mm, I guess I'd let you decide. Ah! 
Incredible! Um, you see, flies off. Uh, uh, and Riz, you go to go get some more stuff? Yeah. You go to go get some more stuff. We're gonna cut back to Arbor Lee! Wow. Uh, in the misty woods of Arbor Lee, uh, morning has come on the following day. Uh, Kristen and Tracker, uh, Rog, Sandra Lynn, uh, all awake along with Gorgug and Fabian. Um, and Adine has been out of trance for a little while. Uh, so Adine, uh, yeah. I'm just doing this face at everybody. <laughs> what? 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 No, Did you I see what they're say. doing in hell? No, what? I can't say. Wait, what, is, oh. what happened? What's going on? What? Did you I, kiss mm, someone? No, mm, no, but mm. okay. So you know how I did like disappeared and like fake like disappeared. Uh huh. <laughs> what the <laughs> crap, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they just missed the little. They just missed like the little. Sh no, no, no. What I assume no. that was a they part of the ritual of the crab team. Tower. Yeah. Oh, they weren't there for shrimp tower. No. Hmm. Oh yeah. 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 You want to know where they were? Where? Uh, I can't say, but maybe you can guess. Were they at the uh, um, Were they at the Lobster Tower? Yeah, were they? Oh, no, they, they were, were at, at shrimp, the Lobster Tower. Shrimp River. Shrimp River. Shrimp River. They must have been at Shrimp River. That makes sense. Ida would yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. They that were look? at Smooch Central. Where's what? that? Where is that? Wait, where, what? Where's Smooch Central? Where's Smooch Central? Where is Smooch Central? Wait, are you saying Up that? Up a tree. Are you saying K I S S I N G? Wait, oh, Fig got Fig? their kisses. Fig was oh, kissing she Ida. She got kisses in. Oh my god. She got kisses in. Oh my god. What? 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 Oh, the family grows. Uh, you see, Tracker. Yeah. Wait, what? You, me, and Rog. Yeah. Like, ah, see, Rog and Push. Yeah. Yeah. Rog and Push. Woo! 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 Growl! Yes! Oh. Oh. Fig got her kisses. Wow. Jealous. That fucking slaps so hard. That's amazing. Right? How do you know this? Yeah, Ida I'm... told me. Oh, she also, God, she told me some other things and I fully don't remember them. Um, <laughs> okay, like uh, she's orbit? working on plane shift and she told me something about the rune, maybe that she was going to research it or maybe she already knew about it. All of that information fully got wiped from my brain. You came with, with the most important you part. Had a I did so too. Solid I piece don't of care about yeah. the rune. I don't, oh, honestly. I don't either. want to hear about the rune ever again. I, mean, yeah. I only want to talk about so it. So frankly, <laughs> bringing up the rune in this context is yeah. homophobic. You yeah. know what? You're yeah. right. I would you're agree. right. I, I apologize. As an ally, I'm always learning. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys so, think it's like going to be like a different person now? Like now that they, now that she got her kisses in, it's like, She's all like. I don't know. I mean, Fig is always well, getting her kisses. She kissed in. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. But, but this is like oh, real. Oh wait, did she fool Ida? No. Did she look like? It was like oh, really no. big. Whoa! Hold on. Wait. Need like not a doctor. She not was a firefighter. Not like not a not a kind of sea of or or in <laughs> Was she Hilda Hilda? Kissing? She must have been Hilda Hilda. <laughs> did Ida mean that she kissed Hilda Hilda? No, I just said she kissed. Fig. This Unless, like, like right lie. at the last minute, she turned into Hilda Hilda and then back again so that <laughs> when her eyes opened never up saw, again, yeah. which you I don't know. Fully, I don't know. Oh. I don't know, Adai. Wow. This seems too crazy. <laughs> I know. This is Not the craziest Hilda thing. Hilda. Literally the craziest thing that has ever happened to us. Would you guys kiss Hilda Hilda? Hilda, Hilda. We I guess I don't know who Hilda Hilda, Hilda, Hilda is. <laughs> yeah, I think we only heard about Hilda Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> I just kind of Because my answer is yes, <laughs> just on a gut level. <laughs> your, your gut, moving from here, you're just like, oh, yeah. Here. See, Tracker goes, oh, God. She showed up when we were doing Crab King and went straight to the hot tub. <laughs> Her. Why is oh, it I'm weird? so embarrassed. Why do I never read these <laughs> to things? To do what? Yeah, why is it weird for her to go straight to the Oh, man. Oh, oh dear. Uh, it's um, something else. Okay. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, you see that look, your phone blips, Gorgug, oh. and you see Zelda <laughs> says, um, uh, uh, Zelda sent you a text and being like, how's the quest going? Whoa, um, oh yeah, my phone works now. Wait, I what? My, I, got I, got a, I was there for that. Yeah, never mind. I'm yeah. not surprised. I uh, figured it out. I figured out how to access my parents' satellite. And wow. So, that's so we can text anyone. We can text yeah. anyone. Oh, yes. Can we phone. please call Eggfoot? Sure. I gotta be honest. 
I might be way over on minutes, so I'm gonna have to. <laughs> All right. Well, we're um, gonna have to pull some resources. Actually, what, yeah, yeah, what yeah. I can do I'm is I'm gonna get these pretty bad over. Uh, I can, yeah. I can, I, I, I oh, she uh, taught me a new spell, where I can. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, sending uh, Arthur Eggfort. Okay. And I'm gonna say. Um, I can also call him if it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call you You're right, I should probably not waste spell slots. I'm making it full of him. I just yeah, am yeah. excited to use this I thought we settle up later, because I yeah, don't... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah we can, yeah, we can yeah. take we'll it out. We'll settle up later. Sure, sure. Yes. Uh, well, I, I text Zelda back, like, well. mm -hmm. got some possibly juicy Wait. gossip. Wait! Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you see... You are all scoundrels and betrayers! You don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know it. You're quiet when you're sick ass Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, Zelda, Zelda, uh, Zelda just sends back a yeah. bunch of exclamation points in a it's row. It's kind of the thing where I feel like I should wait to let you know just in case it's like wrong or something. Uh, uh, she goes, um, uh, she goes, yeah, totally. I might have heard the same thing though. What did you hear? Oh, what? okay. <laughs> what? It's the oldest thing in the book, Fargo. <laughs> Do you anything about Fig or? <laughs> um, uh, uh, this is a freaking you, you informational get STI. <laughs> um, you get back. Um, you get back. Uh, all caps. Fig and who? And in the little chat function, you see a bunch of the other seven maidens become active online in the sidebar. <laughs> hey, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on this one. <laughs> Um, uh, but you see that Zelda says, says, of course, I would never want you to rat on a party member. And a bunch of chat bubbles from the other seven maidens show up on your thing being like, this is bullshit. Spill, spill. Give us the tea. I don't know. Uh, I, anyways, let's call. I got to talk to. We got yeah, business call duty calls. Call A4 and tell him his daughter kissed Fig. <laughs> um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, the phone rings, and uh, after a ring or two, you hear, Hello, you've reached the desk of Arthur Eggfort. Hello? Okay. Hello? Is that, do I, are you on the phone? This is a voicemail. <laughs> oh, it's a voicemail? <laughs> no, Gorga, it's not. Oh. It's me on the phone. <laughs> is, it, is, it? is it Arthur Eggfort, or is it Arthur Eggfort's desk? This is Arthur Eggfort, but it could be Arthur Eggfort's desk. No, dear. For Arthur Eggfort, press one. For Arthur Eggfort's desk, press two. For Arthur Eggfort's cupboard, press three. What was the third one? Oh, I'm cupboard? gonna go one. One? One is for, for him. Okay. Although maybe his desk is less <laughs> impenetrable. Uh, it says, hello, Arthur Eggfort speaking. Hey, it's Gorgug. I just had to talk to you for a second. Gorgug, my boy. <gasps> How goes it with you and the other bad kids? Are you there? I just can't really, something feels like. I grabbed the crystal for him, Gorgog. Uh, hi, hi, uh, hi, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Professor Acourt. Uh, um, long what? time no. Anyway, uh, the, the, the money that we got from Calvaxis, uh, we think that one of them, uh, the, the coins might have secretly been one of the. Uh, I take the phone. Hey, what's up? It's uh, Fabian. <laughs> anyway, so essentially, here's what's going down. We got a bunch of gold, and we think that one of the gold. Oh, wait a second. Actually, while you're saying that, uh -huh. um, me, Tracker, and I grab Sandra Lynn and Rog, and I'm like, hey, we should all go stand outside. Oh, you see ah. that they all nod and all, hell yeah, we they all. Applebee's. Hell yeah, you guys all step outside. Cool, Fabian. Uh, there's a bunch of gold, and we need to uh, pick the right gold. And I toss the phone back to Gorgo. <laughs> so, so you hear that? <laughs> so there's a rune. There's a rune on one of the minutes. The spell book. There is a coin that has been introduced to the hoard of Calvax. Yes. Yeah. Um, was the money that we got directly from his hoard, or was it some sort of, well, this is the equivalent in today's money. Did it get laundered somehow? I am afraid the question is rather more complex than that. You are familiar with the old philosophical saw of how many planks of a ship do you need to replace before it is a different ship? Yes. Correct? Sure. Well, in a hoard, it is, uh, in a hoard, it is much the same uh, conundrum. If money goes into or out of a hoard, uh, is the money that was at one time in a hoard still part of the hoard oh, or not? No. He was spending that money. 
Dragons, was... dragons loathe spending their hoard, but there are moments. Calvaxus was unlike most dragons. He had imperial ambitions. Many dragons are happy to simply lord over a domain within flying distance and gather as much treasure as they can. Calvaxus attempted to control the world, and as such, he actually in, uh, leveraged his hoard into the economy of many nations. You remember that his hoard was completely transferred into a bank by the end. So the gold that was the his hoard was at a certain time simply numbers on a ledger of a bank and was that way for some several hundred years. Oh, huh. and how do we even begin to find this coin? Yeah. Um, uh, Egg Fort has a very high arcana and rolling a natural 17 uh, won't hurt. It says, the coin being presented, hmm. Do you have any arcane research that would suggest to you that definitively mm -hmm. the coin is the only problem? I know that, that as you're saying that that was the introduction of the magical effect. Do you have any proof that the magical effect would have been restrained to just that coin upon its introduction? What do you mean? That it would only be one coin and not several coins? Is that what you mean? I don't, I don't quite understand. Rather, it might have started as only one coin, but do you have any understanding that it would not have spread? Oh, in some sort of... Like the coin infected like, oh, all the like other the coins. Um, you see, uh, he says, um, he says, yeah, that's well. interest. Possibly, you see, he says, uh, well, I'm glad that you're bringing this to me, uh, and I'm glad that you've taken uh, my warning about dragon madness seriously. Uh, that's uh, a very it sneaks up on you. It's a very sneaky curse like that. Um, but importantly, um, it's something that takes time, but does begin to wend its way into things. Um, what? Hmm? What dragon did you say? Madness. Yeah, dragon. <laughs> you said that like it was a thing I that we'd heard. You. Did you? He did. Well, yes, but you also say insane, uh, I mean, s some other interesting things, and uh, you, you say <laughs> piles of things, and none of us remembered the dragon yeah. magic Wait, thing. Wait, so the dragon magic. Oh, so I sort of prattle on, right? No, I no, no, you just say so many interesting things that... that uh, like when I, when I gave that very rambly speech in your freshman lost. year about how important time magic was and yes, that my tea tasted bad? Yes, but you also said that in 800, in the middle of other things, and you said it in a voice. My mind I don't is know, like I think a I have a pretty good sponge. track record of saying important things. That's what I would say. So the spell book was turned into coins, right? Or is that correct? Yes. Can I describe the rune to him? Yes, you can, absolutely. Great, I, I don't know what it looks like, but um, whatever He repeats back a lot of what Ida said to you, mm -hmm. which is it's an abjurative, it's like a metamagic abjuration that... Oh, right, the curse within the curse. Yeah. Curse within the curse. That basically it's like th that uh, it's a <clears throat> zip file, so its curse contains a lot of other magic. Right. And it then rides under a larger, more static curse. Could you... Um, Dragon madness is a thing that's on if you hold the, the money of a dragon. If you have come into a dragon's wealth knowing that it is from a dragon, then yes. So dragon and is there madness a, so is maybe contagious? the dragon madness a curse is, that is contagious? The, it, and that's a curse. Yes. And can it be removed? Is it a removable curse? Uh, you see, it says it is a very weak curse, but as a result of that, almost impossible to remove. It takes a long time to work its way. It can take years to take effect. It, um, it, because it is so gradual and hard to miss, it's actually quite implacable. Um, hmm. uh, uh, but? Well, nothing is impossible. It just is a matter of straining the right, you know. Hey, I have an idea. What if we give don't. all of our no. money no. to no. the just somebody. I don't know the people who work in this village or something. Like we don't have all of our money with us for a start. I have all of my money with me. Well, <laughs> some of us aren't that strong. It's <laughs> extremely heavy. Carry it all. I have two hundred and thirty-eight <laughs> gold with me. Are we going to take I have twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Are we gonna take it back afterward? Because I'm not in the habit of just giving away money. Um, I didn't think so. I mean, you can give away your money and you're still very rich. If I give away my money, oh, I don't have parents. Oh, so every rich person has to give away their no, money? No, I'm saying that I don't have parents. That's all the money that I have. I'm in Maybe school. Maybe you tread lightly. <laughs> okay, all right. I just want to say, I don't think it's, I don't think rich people should be expected to, you know, take care but of But I think it should be taxed appropriately, saying right? No, I'm no. saying that if you I give your money away, it's not you, a big no, deal. I if I give my money away, <laughs> 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 I think if you let rich people keep their <laughs> money, <laughs> they'll <laughs> spend it, and that way poor people will give money. You right? literally have to islands in the sea filled with money that you don't tell anybody about. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> I mean, every rich, every good rich person does. Good. good. What, Traco? What? Rich? <laughs> if rich people spent their money, then how would they be able to call themselves rich? Isn't the whole point of being rich that you're not spending a tremendous amount of money? You know what, Kristen, tag team, I don't want to be in this van anymore. <laughs> like, I'm going to go buy myself something nice. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder, we have that divided in the horde. Just as an experiment, maybe I'll what give away all my money. Does that make any sense? Maybe we won't know now, but I don't know. <laughs> what am I gonna buy? <laughs> I mean, all kinds of things. What? Something cute for Zelda. That'd be yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I could buy some. New, new hmm. seats for the van. Um, Maybe some wings for the van. Pretty rad. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, as you guys uh, uh, dwell on that uh, potential, we're gonna cut back to hell. Uh, at the edge of the bottomless pit, Riz Gugak, licensed detective. Uh, you were gonna go out and get some things to uh, put them in front of the mirror of illusions and maybe see what's what. I'm just upstairs if you want to talk. Um, yeah. Can I... Ooh, I kind of want to... I want to make sure that when I meet with her that it's here in front of the mirror. Or ha I have the mirror with me. Is there any... The mirrors are really big, right? It's really big. Give me an investigation check. All right, that's great. 25, or 26. 26. Um, you find uh, a tiny little sliver of mirror from like what must have been a broken mirror okay. somewhere. Um, when you put it up to your photo, you see it has that property. Perfect. It's kind of hard. You can't see a lot through it, but it's enough to give you a hint that something might not yes. be there. I just want to, I, yeah. I know this is classic trickery, but my father was eaten by Kelvaxis, so it is possible that he would be in hell. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to bring the little mirror with me, and I will go out to meet the shadow cat. Fuck. You walk out, and the moment you walk out, um, Kalina is leaning against the outside of the doorway. Mr. Gutgag, pleasure to have you out here. Where's my dad? To business, right this way. Um, and she begins to walk down the ledge. Um, I am going to, okay. I'm, I'm like going through my head, try, trying to make sure she doesn't kill me here. I think she can't, she could paralyze me and knock me over the edge. So I'm going to, are we, we're like on like a mountain kind of? Or it's, like... it's, think of it as almost like if there was just a pit, but carved into the outside was a spiral road okay. in the side of the crag that spiraled down and down and down along the outside. I would like to, presumably I have some like adventurer's tools on yeah. me. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I would like to like tie a little rope around myself <laughs> yes. and nail it into the wall. You see that? Is this uh, loud? Do I hear this happening? Um, I'm gonna say no, because right next to this is thousands of screaming souls falling forever into so a pit. So I open the, 
Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see that Kalina looks over and says, you think I'm gonna knock you into the pit? Yeah, I've, maybe. That makes me feel really great. If you think that's, if you think that that's a, a worry, then I feel like I'm doing my job. That's great. Um, well, I'm just gonna be safe, okay? Um, you see uh, Kalina begins to lead you down. Um, looks and says, so that's a pretty neat trick that Kristen pulled on that van. That's pretty powerful magic. I'm just making conversation. I know you think I'm trying to ply you for answers. I'm just saying she's a gifted cleric. And especially with no god. Is, is that the sanctum? Did she curse the van? It is so rude when someone's trying to just chat to solve a mystery right at them. <laughs> it's not the, that's not the cottage. I have a hard time having a regular conversation with my friends let alone you. Gotcha, okay. I'll ease off, I'm just saying. You know, it's kind of interesting because Kristen used to worship Sol and that was the god of the sun. I was, <coughs> Orthalax was one of his angels. So it just feels interesting, I don't know. Uh, well, you don't want to be bothered, so let's go. How did you, you were my dad's partner. Mm -hmm. You're a familiar. You were my dad's familiar? No? Good. 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 That would be crazy. Man, kid, I got you rattled. I'm not paranoid. You're, you're normally pretty... <laughs> just, you're normally... <laughs> I didn't even say that. You're not paranoid. <laughs> you see, she says... Says, you're normally a pretty good shot, but you are taking some haymakers here, kid. Even if you guess right, do you think I'm gonna crack? All right, just <clears throat> how how do you know my dad? You were his partner. Oh yeah. I think the question that you should be asking <clears throat> now that you know how I get around is how your dad met me. Ooh. How well did you really know this guy, right? I mean, you were a little kid when he got eaten up. I would say that you kind of have no idea who your father is. But you should see for yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> She, there are these big iron gates in the red stone of the pit, uh, and she goes to a section of wall in between them and puts her hand where there is no cleave in the rock, but it somehow slips behind something, shifts it, and you see endless darkness. It's like looking into a hallway where there is absolutely no light. Um, uh, you see, she says, I know, walking through this door would be the stupidest thing you ever did. So you don't have to walk. We're just gonna stay right here where it's safe, okay? Um, you see, she says, but doors like this in hell, the devils don't like doors like this that go between levels. So you're gonna have to really try to look to be able to see, okay? Um, Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, and she's gonna give you the help action. Oh no! Oh. Big is in the hell mansion being like, boy, I really am glad I brought up Riz's dad with him. That was a really good bonding moment. That <laughs> oh. I guess I hadn't really thought about my dad in a while. <laughs> um, perception, that's just an 11. Um, you see, down at the end of the hall, the very center of your vision. 
a little bit of light and there's something there, but it is extremely bright. It's not infernal, there's nothing red to it. If anything, it's a cold, white light, almost like a fluorescent light. But you can't see anything from this vantage. I am going to... Oh. Still tied up, still tied up. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna go, not gonna go on the other side of the door. Gonna oh. poke, and I'd like to oh, look. I'm seen. What? You can poke. I can poke. I'm gonna <laughs> look on. around the corner. I'm gonna physically, physically, I'm trying to keep my body on the one side of the door <laughs> while craning my neck, looking in. Uh, but I, I want to use your... like the mirror to see if I can oh. see. Um. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm in that 20. Can I have noticed that he's gone? <laughs> <laughs> Should I use the little beans? Use yes. the little beans. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do it. Do it. Do the little beans. I feel like I'm going to puke. Come on, little beans. Never use the little beans again. 13. Um, Incredible. Thir uh, 13 dexterity save. Um, uh, a little bit of the rock wall gives way uh, and some rock crumbles and uh, you hear Kalina gasp. She goes, <gasps> you see that uh, <laughs> she looks at you and for a second you're like, was something about to happen? And she goes, Jesus, you're jumpy. I'm jumpy if I talk to somebody. At, you should have seen me freaking out at the hotel the other day. You were probably there. You see a creep. See, she looks at you and says, <laughs> deal. Riz, that really hurts my feelings. Uh, what is there? What is the little orange thing? <laughs> you see, she looks and says, you can't see it? No, 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 no. That's not how these doorways work. You don't want to see it because you know. You know what's there and you know what's going to happen if you hold your mirror. hold my mirror up to it. You see that there is a um, little bit of fluorescent light there. You see, she says, I can't help your eyesight, kid. If you want me to walk away, if you want me to hold my hands up and take 10 steps back, but you're going to have to go down the hall if you want to see what that is. Mm. <sighs> you see, she says, do you want to, I mean, I, I can full disclosure, and you see that she bats at your face, and her paw just whoosh, goes through. Yeah. And she says, "What the fuck can I do? I'm just in your head." Yep. It's not just you I'm worried about. We are in hell. However, I trust that big will find me if something goes wrong here. Um, so I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a little. Um, I, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. The least interesting of the um, devil tomes, and I'm gonna write a note to Fig. Uh, that says, <laughs> trying to catch a glimpse of my dad. Hope this isn't a mistake. If it was. I'm back here, uh, and I put it on the wall. And then I'll, and then I'm just gonna go in. Oh, <laughs> come on now! You begin to walk. The ball. You lose sight of the beginning of the tunnel. Your rope just snakes back into darkness. You walk along. You hear, and something kind of primal. You feel things watching you, and you hear chitterings off into the shadows. You walk past them. You hear other voices, too. 
you realize that things are watching you and the chittering noises are what they are hearing kind of from you. You're a little goblin slinking down a long, dark hall. The light grows brighter. And you see, the reason the light looks so weird is you're actually not seeing the source of the light. And the, the air quality is so bad here, so smoky, that there's actually a cone of light. It's like from one of those like overhead hanging lamps that has like the wide brimmed cone and a little like pole chain on it. Um, the kind you would see in like an interrogation room. Right. And it's creating this pure cone of light. Um, and you see that there is a heavy wooden chair and covered in blood and excrement, waste, uh, his clothes rent over and over, is a gagged, dazed Pock gut gag tied to the chair. Dad? I, I run over and uh, untie him. Um, make a uh, perception check for me real quick. No. God damn it. That's an eight. Um, cool. You rush towards him, and just as you're about to reach the light, the <clears throat> rope pulls taut. Um, if you untie yourself from the rope, you could go further. <sighs> but the rope goes taut. Come on now. Um, you see, Pac is there in the chair, head kind of lolling, um, fully gagged here. Um, you see uh, that from outside of the light, like somewhere else, you don't feel any other beings around you. It just sort of materializes outside of the light. A like bucket full of some liquid splashes on him and his skin begins to burn and smoke. Just <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like the rope tugging me is a little bit of a wake up call. I'm hoping this isn't real. I'm gonna shoot the interrogation light. Um, give me the tackle. Come on. Yo, why am I rolling so bad? Um, 18. She's in his head, that's why. Um, uh, Just you, in case it's like making an illusion or something. It's yeah, yeah. Pretty sus. You take the gun up <laughs> and you see that the, you look and your father's gun starts shaking in your hand. Uh, and a thought enters your mind unbidden. It may feel, in fact, alien to Riz, as though someone else put it there. Um, and you hear a voice say, you know what the kind thing to do with that gun would be. <sighs> I'm <laughs> going to holster my gun. And untie myself. <gasps> Um, you see, uh, you hear Kalina in your, uh, in your head goes, whoa, 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 kid. If you walk into that light, you're not in this little hiding place anymore. You will be in the Iron City of Dis on a whole other circle of hell from where your friends are. You will step into a room full of devils. This little viewing gallery is a present gratis of me. What? What am I doing? I pull out. I pull out the mirror. To um, you see, uh, the mirror shows you your father. There is no illusion here. Why is he there? You want to have this conversation here while we're looking at him, or you want to step outside? I walk back out. Um, you walk back out, um, and you hear. Do you speak? Uh, goblin at all? Yes. Um, you hear voices speaking in Goblin. He's like, <laughs> hulking voices. And you see they say, confess. <laughs> Tell us what you know. <laughs> um, and you are removed from there. And you get out to the ledge. And you see Kalina waiting for you. 
You see, she looks and says, you don't really think a dragon eating somebody would send them to hell, do you? This is the Great Wheel. Riz. Souls go where they're supposed to go. Why, why are you showing me this? What is, you know I want to free my father. Are you two working together? Is that why the devils want my dad? Riz, sweetheart. Look, Kristen, Tracker, these are people that I, I had fondness for, but I, I just met them. You're special. You were born with me. I've known you your entire life. I'm like your godmother. And the fact that you are so cold to me, it feels hurtful. I'm showing you this as a favor. I'm showing you this as a token of good faith. Because Here's the thing, Riz. Maybe you get into the forest. Maybe I don't kill all of you right away. Maybe you make it all the way to catch up with the Avernants, stop them, put an end to this ritual. Maybe. Maybe you only lose a couple of your closest friends. Maybe you go back to Egg Fort and you get to hand this crown back to that crazy old coot for him to lose it again. Or maybe someone comes back. And if that someone comes back, maybe they wrestle up all those demons that they've worked with for so long. And we spring a little jailbreak for your dear old pop. I know the stick doesn't always work by itself, but now I'd say you have a pretty big carrot to consider, wouldn't you? Yeah. Did my dad know what you were? Can I do like a real quick insight check <laughs> like on her face uh, as, uh, as I say yeah, that? Yeah, give me an insight check. Come on. The bad Murph rolls are back, baby. As soon as oh, there's a Riz episode, baby. Can't do it. Any other episode, I'm good. That's a... Uh, it's still okay. 16. So funny, kid. You have an opportunity right now to talk to someone who actually knew your father. You were small. Do you really know how your dad thought about you. He was away an awful lot. He's a very handsome man, gone for a long time. I know, I know what happened between you two. I can, I can do the math. Remember, Riz, your dad was a spy. Do you think everything your dad did was good? Obviously not. You see, she smiles and is like, oh, heartbreaking. You no, know, I was with you watching that little crystal of your dad. Such a sweet message. Kind of the only thing you have left of him, right? Terrible. Or when you were with your friends at the cemetery and didn't even mention your dad was 10 feet away. It's real hard with dads. Sorry to complicate his legacy, but hey, it's all about the clues, right? Got to find the truth no matter what. Keep digging, Riz, and think about what you really want. She vanishes. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Ah. Wow. I have a depressing theory. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, I'm just upstairs. You can always talk to me. Yeah. I guess I'll go upstairs. Uh, you walk back upstairs. Mm-hmm. You walk into the villa. Um, you see Galir kind of pouring over the tomes. Um, <laughs> you see, uh, he goes, ah, Riz. Hey, Galir. They have a kind of passion fruit yogurt here that's quite nice. I would love uh, some yogurt, Galir. Thank you. Guys, I did something real dumb. I did something real dumb. Oh, hey, sorry, I heard Riz's yeah, voice. Hey, what? Hey, Fig. Um, hey. The shadow cat came, um, and she said she could show me my dad. Uh-huh, and you were like, no, never, I'm not no, working I followed. with you. I went down, I tied a rope. I was real safe with it, but then I cut the rope. Um, she showed me that my dad is in hell, and he's being tortured, and she had sex with my dad. I think, and that's, I'm patient zero, maybe? Oh. I'm, um. I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Uh, where is she and your dad now? And also, do we know this is true? Because she's planted a lot of falsehoods yeah, I, in I know, but I... The um, mirror, I, I brought a piece of the truth mirror, and uh, my dad is in a different circle of hell, being tortured by other goblins. What and direction? Glear down. Was, yeah, Heyman <laughs> says down. No. Okay, so what what circle of hell is that? Um, it, was something, it was something with a D. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, uh, you see that uh, the hangman goes. There's only one layer down. The Iron City of Dis. Yeah. So what sin is that, or does it not line up like this is gluttony? Uh, you see that um, uh, the hangman says, the seven sins permeate all nine circles of hell. Okay. I don't, I don't, truthfully, I mean, Kalina's right. I don't super know my dad. I don't yeah. think that he would do any of this intentionally, but I do think um, being... I do think if he cheated on my mom with a demon and then gave my mom a demon STI and then she gave birth to me, a little demon baby, that might get you in trouble with the devils. Yeah. So even if he's not the worst, he could still be in hell. Well. You're mad at your dad for giving your mom a demon STI, but if you think about it this way, Sandra Lynn tried to have sex with Galir after she knew she had the STI, (laughs) so she's kind of doing the same thing. Everyone's just spreading this STI around. I may have, I just want to, I just want to jump in to interject if I may. The, the... You, the, the, the proposition of your mother trying to sleep with me, it, it was less of a, it was less of a, it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a formal sort of like, it's like a I fun, think kind of flirty moment. It was a, a more of a pregnant pause and then we kind of cut it, cut it off. I don't want to, oh. I don't want to paint your mother in a light of, okay. you know, it was like we were having a very intense conversation and there was a very, a moment where there was a lot of healing and there was a lot of closeness and intimacy and then, there, you know, it's like, oh, is that, yeah, maybe there's, maybe there's, yeah. okay. uh, gross. I, look, I'm we're, very uncomfortable, and you, a lot of this has back magical back. ramifications. Glear, it's fine. It's fine, Glear. Fine, Glear. Fine. I'm sorry. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm crying. Um, <laughs> do you? Okay. Do you want to and go also, see your dad? Because I, I, I don't think. Because maybe you could ask your dad some of these questions. I don't think we can save him easily. Maybe Gorthlax can help us if we can get him back. Or do you know who's also down here? Is Bill Seacaster. Uh, you see that the hangman says, Master Fabian ordered me to send word to Captain Seacaster and word I have sent, although it is hard to tell if one has reached Captain Bill Seacaster because he is actively being pursued by all the armies of the Nine Hells. Right. Oh shit. What a perfect oh. person to bust out my dad. Yeah. Let's try to 
fine, Bill Seacaster will bust out your dad, and then we'll get some answers. And if he's and if he's a piece of shit, then you can deal with that later. I, I saw him. He was in a rough way. I think um, that whatever he did, he's paid for it, and we should just get him out. All right. Yeah. yeah. There's no. Yeah. There's no level of. But he's my dad. I yeah, just want to get him absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yeah. And I also think that it's very possible that she was. Yeah, I bet there's. I. I know it's messed up to say, but there's probably people down here that would have done relatable but bad things. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, maybe we can talk to Bill Seacaster. Okay. Um, you see that the Heyman says, I have done my best to send word, but perhaps. Uh, you see that Retrot speaks up and says, <laughs> oh, Lady! Oh Seeing as you are the current Bildam of the bottomless pit, perhaps you would light the beacon. This would allow at least Captain Seacaster to uh, know where the missive was coming from. Perhaps light a little signal fire for the archdevil himself. And Lighting a beacon in hell? What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so much! Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Um, <laughs> Uh, you see that uh, there we is... We don't need Kalina to get him out, okay? Just don't let her pretend like that you need her to get him out. Um, <clears throat> you see that there is a uh, black spinning wheel, like an old sort of like loom spinning wheel in the corner with like, a pin sticking out of it. Um, and you see Retro says, simply prick your finger on the pin of the spinning wheel and the beacon will be lit. All for you, Rev. Uh, you see the wheel spins <laughs> and uh, you see fire flashes through all of the mirrors in this little villa and a roaring flame belches from the bottomless pit and shoots up into the sky in the midst of all the bodies falling to the bottomless pit. I light another cigarette on the beacon. <laughs> um, you see the hangman says, the beacon lit, let us hope that those potentates don't, uh, I don't know, get mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> if they do, I'll just be like, I was looking for a lighter. Yeah, quit being a nerd, Hangman. <laughs> hangman, do let him have this. Hangman, let him have this. All what right, if he just I'm, I'm, I'm intimidated. Take All him right. for a ride, Hangman. Hop on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, just sobbing on the back of the Hangman. <laughs> um, cool. Um, uh, go ahead, you guys, and make one last investigation check for me, if you'd be so kind. Come on. Shit got wild in here. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well. You know hey. What? I'm gonna. Twenty nine. Oh, really good. Okay. Twenty nine. Wow. Um. You discover a clause that pertains to mortals. Uh, can ascend to the throne of an arch devil if they are direct descendants of that devil and perform a coup. Now, everything in the language around performing a coup seems to imply fatality, that you kill your thing, but you actually find on a 29 a little loophole, which is the actual operative language is simply defeat. If you recall... Uh, you defeated him. <laughs> you already defeated him. Oh, you, I put him I'm in just a sobbing. gem? Yeah, you I'm... already beat him. It's a clause. Oh. Saving clues will help. Oh. Solving mysteries helps. <laughs> You're right. I am the rightful king of hell. <laughs> Galia <laughs> says. Piece of this little house. Galia yeah. says, okay, I'm, I'm going to step in as a parent now. <laughs> We're gonna all eat and we're gonna drink uh, yeah. some water and we're gonna lie down, okay? We found a clause, Galir. I know you did. I found it's all right. I know you did. I, I know you did. Everyone's dads are fine and hell. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, great. Uh, we are going to jump back to Arborly. Um, uh, cool. Uh, uh, Arborly gang, uh, what are you guys doing uh, after the egg fort call? Yeah, I had a thought, which was we bought all of these ingredients. Hallow. We go to the Hallow. Cool. You guys go to the Hallow. We bought all of these ingredients to make a tincture to get Kalina out of our heads. Why did my mum buy those ingredients if she's working with Kalina? To... So that the ingredients 
they have are also for that same thing. Right, but why is she trying to get rid of Kalina in her head if she's working with Kalina? Wasn't it that these are the things they bought to perform some kind of ritual and there was just some overlap with regard to the tincture that we needed to make and mm. we actually still need more ingredients that are inside of the formula? But that well, but one they... key ingredient, the mushroom? The Sandra Lane says what? Nothing. Uh, nothing. nothing. Okay. Yeah. Adventure stuff. No science, Ireland. Science. So. Oh, okay. By the way, can gotcha. I have a couple little baggies? <laughs> yes. I, we can deal with that yeah, we can later. Here's later. my wallet. Uh, you asked for it. Did you want to hold my wallet? I don't want to hold your wallet. You can hold my wallet. Do you want to just hold it? I don't want to hold I anyone's think this wallet. Would be Look, just, listen. I think. Okay. Listen. Here. <laughs> listen. <laughs> What? What if your mom and your sister are doing the exact same thing we're doing, where they have to trick the shadow cat? No. Hold on. Wait. Like, like they have to be outwardly mean. So they're like, on, we're all on the same team? I don't know. I but mean, it seemed like your mom was so obsessed with this character from looking at her notes, right? Yeah. It seemed like, can we look at those notes again? Can I? <coughs> yeah. Um, you guys, I, we, won't, we don't have to go over all of them. Uh, Arianwin did extensive study into the nature of the Shadow Cat, the Nightmare King. Her notes were pretty comprehensive. A lot of like the unnamed goddess, like, so this is a role, you know, uh, feel free to say no, but this is like an empath role. <laughs> so like, can I re-look at these notes and see if I feel like a little bit of love or obsession here? Or is this just strictly- I like will info? allow you to make an insight check uh -huh. with disadvantage. Oh, okay, okay. To do, yeah. I'll help Kristen on this one. Okay, so it's a straight roll uh -huh. uh, to get a re get an empath read uh -huh. on someone through like notes. I just feel like I can pick up on like, such a like I know this moment. person, even though she's very hard to read. Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. Let's see it. So wait, so wait. <laughs> Should you be doing the role? You know wait, your mom. Wait, how high is your insight? Because <laughs> mine is six. Oh my, insight I'm good insight. With okay. great. Oh great, then I'll give Kristen the help. Actually. I've seen her. <laughs> cool. Let's see what you roll. Okay. Not bad. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right. Wow. Um, okay. Wait, advantage. Oh no, flat. Yeah, flat, right. flat, flat. Um, you look at like little hearts around like shadow cat yeah. and you don't, you don't find anything Lipstick in stings. the notes like that. Were they 24 and you're, you're looking for like love or, or like devotion in yeah, these Yeah, cause notes? it doesn't quite make sense why she's going against all of the other high elves. Why she's going against all the other high elves, exactly. Um, uh, you look at this, um, with the 24 insight, there are leaps that Arianwen makes in her research mm -hmm. that are just too damn lucky. Mm -hmm. Going through the, in other words, it looks like as she was researching all this, that some other entity that knew a tremendous amount about this subject matter was helping her research the entire time. Oh, maybe, okay, you know, that person themselves. Maybe that person yeah, themselves. Yeah, maybe it's like, mm. You know, when a celebrity writes their autobiography, but there's somebody else who's actually Trust doing the writer. writing, and then yeah. they just meet for coffee like six times and tell them their stories. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is she, your mom was a ghostwriter? Yes. For Portia de Rossi. <laughs> sorry. So, <laughs> no, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, Portia. Well, sorry, I'm sorry, never no. going to see Shadowcat the same. It's someone, just someone, de make a, now. someone please make a super cut of all of Allie Beardsley's <laughs> pop culture references <laughs> throughout, <laughs> throughout <laughs> the season. So. If, if you told me at the beginning of the day I was going to hear the name Portia de Rossi, I would have said, no fucking way. No, but if you were going to hear from Portia de Rossi, who at this table I'd would be? I'd be Beardsley, 100%. Yeah, yeah of course, absolutely. obviously. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> so I wrote this down earlier, and I don't know if it means anything. Okay. But the demonic text that we found that was like researched by, I think, your mom. Mm -hmm. We talked about the, the infernals and the warlocks that helped set up the barrier. Yeah. That was requisitioned by Pak Gukgak. Oh. oh, from the library? Yeah, right? That's well, also, we were talking about the spell book being a coin, but if the sanctum is also a curse. If the coin is a, is a cursed coin and then the sanctum is also a curse, maybe the, 
Maybe I'm overthinking things. It's so confusing. There's a lot. Um, you see Tracker speaks up and says, well, if this was a, if this was like a witch goddess, witches primarily deal in curses. So it's not necessarily unusual that a lot of curse magic would have, I mean, because a curse is kind of just like a pejorative for a certain type of magic, right? It's, because mm -hmm. a curse can be enchantment, it can be transmutation, <clears throat> like, so it's possible if, <clears throat> um, Tracker's gonna make a roll. Um, yeah, Tracker looks up and says, yeah, there's a lot, be great to know, to be able to talk to either Ariane Lynn or to know what it was that Pac requisitioned. I mean, I can, t I, should I talk to Ariane Lynn? It seems crazy. How would you do it? Oh, well, I could, I could sending to her and then I, I cast this spell that, that uh, Ida Eggfort gave me where I put a key in her pocket and then we go to this honestly rad crystal place. Like a does, meet in the middle situation? Does it seem like scary, dangerous if in fact she decides to like hoodwink you and like that mess is, you up? That is a thing that I'm worried about. Yeah. yeah. Um, can, I mean, and I can't take anybody else in there, I don't think it's just a wizard thing. Um, uh, you get <clears throat> a sending message from Ida saying that she would love to, uh, a message from Ida that says, um, uh, hello, Adine. Um, cast, find familiar, wonderful spell. May I teleport to Arborly? Yes, please do, absolutely. Hell yeah, what, what familiar did you get? I'll see, I'm excited. Your friend, Adai. <laughs> um, uh, in a flash of fire, <laughs> Ida Eggford appears. Any, everyone here make an insight check that's in our book. Yeah, 26. Hmm. 26? Yeah, um, uh, Kristen, um, hasn't slept, t just like tweaked a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. Um, hey, Ida. Hello. Uh, friends, Adai, mm -hmm. hello, good to see you. Um, and you see from behind her giant wings, a sphere of water with little sort of boop, 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 comes out and a full tropical fish in a floating thing of water <laughs> uh, swims out. Um, I so, love it. Can I put Boggy in the sphere of water? Boggy is so happy in the sphere of water. Uh, Boggy and this fish immediately start playing. Um, see the fish also, uh, fish appears very uh, uh, serene, but does have a very wide eyed expression. Mm -hmm. um, and you see Ida says, uh, the familiar has been extremely helpful. Thank you so much What's for- What's the name? I wanted to give it a very special name. The name of, uh, but I couldn't think of anything as clever as uh, Bogariel Fragariel. Mm -hmm. I named it in honor of, uh, it's the name of, sorry. The name of my familiar is Guardi and Adine the fish. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Guardy uh, and Adine the fish? I named the, I didn't want, I wanted to name the fish after two very important people in my life. Mm -hmm. I thought oh. it might be something like Fig Junior, but who knows? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess I see where I fucking stand. <laughs> you see that, uh, Ida says, I thought it would be overly, I think it, I thought it would be bad. over if I named. I I didn't want to no, because, because it could so. because it could come. I, I, it no. was my understanding. It was a good call. I'm being. Candy. I think so. <laughs> you you see, can call it gaff. 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 Gaffy adine fish. Gaff. That is many fewer syllables. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And then yeah. in formal situations. Uh, guardian adine the fish. Yes. yes. Gaff. 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 Gaff rolls off the tongue more easily. Uh, <laughs> an immense improvement. An incredible wizard, and thank you for your help. You. We need to get Fig right now. What? Why? Why? I mean, we Isn't, do want to get her, but I—I I mean, is out there, of hell. Is yeah, there a specific reason? <laughs> You've done something with your face. <laughs> well, we're just wondering: is there something? Is there some business that she needs to it, attend to? Did I not tell you? It's there is a high probability that myself and Fig are girlfriends. It remains. <laughs> That is great! Woo! <laughs> wow. 
I did not think we were going to get there wow. so quickly. I thought we were going to have to tease that out of you. Uh, <laughs> Why? Should, did I say it too quickly? No. No. no you you said it exactly you the right. Being straightforward is the way to go. We Welcome all to the love family. this information. We shake hands. <laughs> Um, you see that she says, what family is that? When you're here, you're family. It's called being gay. There's <laughs> <laughs> a weird amount of breadsticks. So. <laughs> um, uh, he, uh, you see... Um, uh, Adine is taking notes. <laughs> um, wow, breadsticks, okay. So you see Ida looks up and says, um, yes, uh, uh, Kristen is of course correct. I am gay and I would like to get Fig back as soon as possible. Are there any other issues I can clear up before we dive into the discussion at hand? It's not as fun when they just say it. What's our plan? We, we're Are we right. trying to optimize for fun? Should I have made this no, more fun? No, no, I just, never mind. You know what is going to be fun? What's that? Fig. Oh, okay, yes. Why so will we, Fig be fun? What have you done? Because Fig's really fun. Skateboard. Yeah. You're putting Attitude. emphasis and meaning on things under the surface, and I would like you all to speak Everywhere plainly. Everywhere that Fig is, she tries to set up a real quick teen corner, and I like that about her. <laughs> so, just to oh, be straightforward. Oh, only adult corner. <laughs> yeah, just I, sometimes. Sometimes it seems like Fig is sh shy about her personal relationships, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, where that's just or maybe what she thinks that she's shy and is actually extremely open in a way that's very sweet. <laughs> I agree. She's the sweetest person I know. Aww. Oh, wow, this is very We're in cute. It now. This is very cute. So we can't get into hell. That was the issue. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see we that? did get blocked by, by um, thorns. You see, she looks and says, very well. Can I show you guys my research? Please. Yes. Boom! Yeah. Scrolls cover the place. Sweet. All this like compass point stuff spreads out. Ooh, does she anyone says, want a yerba mate? I, oh my goodness, I no, would love one. I would love a yerba mate. Yeah, here you go. A gourd for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not a cortado? Um, no cortados. You see, uh, you see that Ida Cheetah. says, um, I have uh, locked down the compass points and put Rollins in charge and given him a magical blunderbuss. Uh, so the <laughs> library is closed for the moment. Um, uh, I have taken all of our most powerful offensive spells, brought them here, uh, as well as begun research on a plane shift spell. Awesome. Um, wow. I'm sorry, the um, uh, gaff has been real help. I didn't uh, rest at all last night because I've been working on the research as fast as possible. I think the fastest, uh, I just need to destroy these devils. It's fine. No, 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 no. we I don't do. need to destroy any devils. I do. Are you okay? I feel yeah. like you're really stressed out, and I, I don't know that that. I think we want to be our most cogent selves. Yeah, I understand. Though, if Tracker all this stuff. was in hell, I would probably be weeping, and yeah. I like rub Ida's fiery back. Uh, <laughs> you feel incredibly tense muscles relax, and she fully yeah. starts crying. Yeah, as, it's scary. You know, I have more than one lifetime of notes to sample from, and in none of them did I ever find someone like this. So I know that it's very early, but it's very special. And um, I pull an ice cream sandwich out of Kristen's oh, yeah, ice of cream sandwich bag. and <laughs> What is this? It's, it's an colder ice cream, than normal. It's ice cream sandwich. Eat it, it'll help. I also eat one. An ice cream sandwich? Yes. yes. I'll take one as well. Here you go, yeah. See, I have unlimited, so anyway. Uh, it, it immediately gets melty as it like gets close know. to like her fiery face. She bites it and goes, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. Yeah, isn't right? it delicious? What is yes. this? It's ice cream and cookies. Yeah. I don't know what ice cream is. Ice cream, oh, it's, um, cold milk. Cold milk. Cold <laughs> sugar milk? Cold Egg. sugar milk. Um, I don't know why I've been on Leviathan this whole time. You, where you come from, if it has these, that seems great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't eaten in a long time. Oh, um, let's get you some food. Yeah, I think there's still some cold frittata around. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of warm shrimp. <laughs> the, the crab's not good anymore. Yeah, no, it's, don't, it's touch don't eat the crab. I won't eat the crab. It's been outside that. in the sun. Mm. I come up with a little frittata that has some feta cheese on the top. Here. She eats it. Life is significantly better around you. Mm. Mm. You're it's, great. You're great. How's your research? It's going very well. I want you to know that I, I know that I seem upset, but I'm not upset. Uh, you were the first person to find out, apparently, that uh, Fig and I had kissed these devils. Mm -hmm. uh, these devils likely don't know that Fig is a wizard's paramour. They don't know the horrible mistake they've made. They don't know the terrible vengeance that will be brought down on their head. They don't know. It's not personal. I They're doing what devils do. The devils didn't kidnap her. She went in willingly. Yeah. We 
could start a, an all-out war against hell, but mm. since our plate is still pretty full with trying to stop, yeah, I don't think um, we're looking into extra a new credit for so spring not, break back right now. Let's not undervalue mm -hmm. the abilities of everyone who went into hell to come back out. To, yeah, yeah. They, they, no, I understand. I Why aren't I sending to Fig right now? That can go. It can go across planes, right? Sending. I believe. Why don't you look that up as Ida as Adine opens her spellbook? Ida says, "I know. I'm not. I, you know, if 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 I had thought ahead, I would have sent missives to all the planes of the outer of the Great Wheel that uh, the wizard Ida Egfort had come into the contact of a paramour, and that none should harm her, lest they face the wrath of a wizard. I should have done that. I didn't think to do that. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, that's kind of the step one in your first queer relationship. <laughs> just a big worldwide warning. Of not, just world, not just one world, all the world, yeah. all the world. Yeah, yeah. But it's important. Yeah. I don't, I don't hold a personal vendetta against the devils. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to torture them or teach them a lesson. I'm just going to unravel them. You know, oh. I'm just going to take them apart into their component ideas uh -huh. and discard them at the edge of time and space. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Um, if any of them have hurt Fig, I'm just going to erase them. No, erase is not the right word because because when I you erase send, something, there's still. I can send to Fig. There's just a five percent chance of it failing. Okay. But I'll take that chance. Yeah, it's not too great, bad. Great, 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 great. Um, Go ahead. And... What do you want me to? Uh, uh, I say, um, dear Fig, we're here with Fig, you Ida. sneaky little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fig, you sneaky little bitch. We're here with Ida. She wants to invade Hell. You good? P.S. <laughs> P.P.S. Um, and then, uh, do we have enough room in sending to kind of explain this like dragon <laughs> curse that might be the host? It's 25 words, so we're oh, probably yeah. like about 18 into it. Yeah. And just P.P.S. Dragon Madness. Uh, P.P.S. Dragon <laughs> Madness 69. P.P.S. Um, ask Calvaxis about Dragon Madness. Oh, sure. Great. Um, Cool, Fig, you received that. Okay, so what is the message I received? <laughs> Just, like, what actually uh, made the final Fig, cut? you sneaky bitch. <laughs> We're here with Ida. Let me just uh, roll my D100 to make sure that it gets through. Mm -hmm. oh. Just to do my due diligence. Yeah, it does. Cool, great. Um, um, uh, <laughs> Fig, you sneaky little bitch. Ida is here, she wants to invade hell. You good? P.S. Ask Calvexis about Dragon Madness. Dragon Madness. Okay. PPS. <laughs> oh yes, don't forget the ooze. I think from that, I don't think I would know that you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You sneaky <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> Ida is here. I don't think I would be like, oh, they're on to me. So I think <coughs> I would just. They're mad at us for going into hell without them. Yeah, it's hell yeah. is. Yeah, that's what that's what Adine is implying, right? Why is Adine emphasizing the Ida thing? I was wondering. I, I have no reason <laughs> to believe anything else, <laughs> right? I don't know. Cool. What now else Now that we're just being think? honest with each other about exactly. everything. I'll see you guys later. I haven't told you a lie. Okay. Since we've been in hell. Okay, so dia time. Um, I guess I'm gonna just tell them to come here, right? If they can. I guess I'm gonna say, cool. I hope you're having fun with Ida, but not too much fun. What? <laughs> so, many, so many words. We're not too much fun. I hope it's more fun when I'm there. Blushing. You're blushing. I see you. Right I see you mouthing yourself, and I'm just like, no. no. Um, I'm king of hell now. <laughs> Finding Bill C. Caster and saving his dad will swing by Calvaxis. <laughs> A million miles outside of 25 words. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Um, and yet, none of them told them what we needed them here. I mean, I don't know what they were should trying we to get, imply. Should we tell them to come here? Um, yeah. So that was a first draft. <laughs> okay, cool. first draft. I'll go back to it. Um, <laughs> cool that you're with Ida. Have fun, but not too much fun. LOL is one word. Um, <laughs> No, but really. <laughs> I'm king now. 
uh, <laughs> looking for, what am I at? <clears throat> You're at 18. Riz's dad and sea caster. Uh, you could join, question mark? <laughs> 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 um, that comes back and as soon as you see uh, you could join, question mark, Ida looks at that and says, she wants us there. She's being polite. She's king. She's oh yeah, my god. I don't think that yeah. that you're picking up on the wrong things. She's yeah, king. That's... Also, did they say they're looking for Riz's dad? <laughs> Riz's dead dad? Riz's dead dad? In hell? In hell. Hold on, is she king of like a shrimp party? Is she some is this some sort of weird Yeah, this or oh, maybe it's a disguise. She's currently disguised as oh. a king of oh, some kind. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ida, how do we get to hell? Let's do it. Well, it's very simple. Um, we just simply don't have the time. So, D don't say we don't well, we don't have the time to research plane shift. I, I need a couple more days and by then it might be too late. Um, so uh, what we should do is you are students of the Egg Ford Adventuring Academy. Yes. If you were to call upon him mm -hmm. to arrive, to, to send up a warning as a student, I could potentially steal his watch from him and pause us long enough to research plane shift in enough time to get there right now. Okay, so we're to gonna call Egg Fort and jump him. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna fight Arthur Egg Fort? And that's how we get to Fig's kingdom. The man <laughs> we can't ask grew to 80 feet tall and pulled the sun out of the sky and you think that we can distract him for long enough can to I, steal his watch? Can I sneak away and call Egg Fort? Um, yes, you can. Um, uh, Ida has once again launched into a thing where she's she's like, look, it's very simple. There are lots of magic that devils just won't be expecting. Um, you know, you can use their true name. And again, I just want them, I, I don't just want them gone from reality. I want the space they occupied in reality to be gone as well. Okay, that seems like it would create some kind of power vacuum that we don't necessarily need to be doing since Fig does sound... I think it's important to draw firm boundaries. <laughs> Whoa. I hear you. I think that uh, your your fig sounded fine, and if fig wasn't fine, she'd tell us. Okay. Mm. She lies about being um, uh, middle-aged women sometimes. Maybe she's lying about being <laughs> okay, <laughs> or maybe a devil is forcing she her to. She doesn't lie to, to us, though. Okay, no, that's yeah. good. Um, Gorga, well, you mean, step outside. I'm sorry. Keep secrets. Just to clarify, do we actually want to get the <laughs> watch from Egbert? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, okay. we, can, we can try. All right. Pretty I'm wild. Gonna, I'm going to peel off and, <clears throat> and just get back for it a call. Cool. Um, uh, rings a little bit. Uh, hello, this is Arthur Eggford. Hey, Arthur Eggford, this is Gorgug speaking. Um, or is it Gorgug's desk? Pressing one, pressing <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> hello? Is this the real? Okay. Yep. Hey, uh, Professor Eggford, I was just calling because. So we're in the middle of our Nightmare King stuff, and we're also working with your daughter, <clears throat> Ida. You're working with Ida? Yeah, she's helping us. We're in a bit of a pickle, um, and I don't want to overstep, but I think your daughter would benefit from a relationship with her father. She's seemingly pretty lost in some ways. And I think that although she's very powerful, I think that, I don't know, do you, are you a part of her life at all? This is very surprising. Has she asked you to deliver this message to me? No, this is just sort of what I've noticed from the outside. Because I, I feel like it is, a, a tough thing to be looking for your parent and and seeking something there is hard. And she's admitted that she's basically raised herself. And over and over again. And also, can we borrow your watch? I think is the other part. <laughs> 
because she was suggesting that we steal it from you, and I don't think that any of us want to do that. No, you don't want to steal my watch from me. I would bring down such thunder upon your heads. Okay, yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, I will be happy to come and help you if Ida wishes it. Um, 300 years ago, Ida told me to never contact her again. Hmm. Um, I assume that she has reconstituted since then, uh, but I was, I, 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 I have never been a very present man. Um, excessive time travel does leave one feeling largely unmoored, I suppose, but, uh, but no, I, that, that moment is crystal clear in my memory. Um, I suppose if she has changed her mind, or... Well, she's in, you know, if she's constantly coming back, she's, then whoever said that is not who's here now. I understand. She made it quite clear that um, she would leave notes instructing uh, her future self to... Um, if, I, if I am wrong, I am wrong. Uh, by all means, please um, tell, uh, I, I rather don't know how to handle this. If it's the use of, she wants to reach out to me f just for the use of my watch, is that correct? Well, right now we were looking to borrow the watch so we could pause time, research plane shift, go to hell, get our friends, come back from hell, keep doing the nightmare thing. Sounds like you guys are doing great on your spring break. We're just kind of running out of time, and I'm honestly so exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. By the way, I heard, um, I heard that you did the right thing with Zelda. That's a really good call, my hey. guy. Well done. Why did you hear that? <laughs> I was at that party. You were at the oh, party? Oh, no. Wow. Creepy. Oh, Is it like a tea oh, party? No, no, no. Yes, no. My, but I needed to make sure my students were safe. I was disguised as an owl. Oh, no, no, so much worse. No, so much worse. I don't know. I don't they know. made me the beer pong mascot. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. dear. Oh, dear. I All was right. on a perch at the middle line. I was calling which side, I was calling sides. That seems pretty fun, I guess, if I was at a party and there's an owl just being the ref of a beer pong game. I would enjoy that. But look, look, look. I, 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 would you just... Can we just skip ahead to where you lend us the watch? Um, you see that he, he looks at you and says, um, it seems like what Ida wants is a watch. And perhaps, I don't know. Um, he uh, says, um, I'm doing something right now. Um, you and, joking or? Uh, no, he, he <laughs> holds his hand over the watch, and you feel a weight in your hoodie pocket of his watch appearing. Um, you see, he says, um, I, I've set this for um, seven days, which should be enough time if Ida and young Miss Avenant are working together. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose mention what I've told you to Ida and if she wishes to reach out to me, then, or, or if she wants me to reach out, I suppose mention what I've said to Ida. Wait, the 300 years thing, or which part? Yes. Okay, yeah, I will. Uh, I very much appreciate that, thank you. Of course. Um, he says, uh, goodbye, Gorg. Um, uh, goodbye. Uh, after the seven days are up, the watch will return to me, so use your time wisely, and I will speak with you soon. Okay. Um, what do you, you're not cooking though. Uh, I have a panini on a small grill, but <laughs> I wouldn't call that cooking necessarily. Uh -huh. I mean, give yourself credit where credit's due. Right? Maybe you see, should buy Galera panini press. Maybe you can put a panini press. Don't guy. buy Galera panini press. <laughs> I uh, just think that maybe you could just I, diversify uh, his diet a little bit. Cool. Um, you walk back know. inside as Ida is uh, there with everybody else. What's up, guys? So the shrimp goes down the lobster 
flips yeah. off the tail, catch it in your mouth. Last one to eat nine, uh, nine is shrimp. out, and yeah. then you move on to the next what? meat. If you lose, you become a living <laughs> shrimp, and yes. you have to walk around mm -hmm. being saying, "I'm." Sandra Lynn says, shrimp. "What did you I'm learn outside?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> I so had a good productive phone call with, uh, you know, uh, your dad. Oh. What? You um, went outside to call my dad. Talk, talk to beat to him dad. up? No, 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 no. we're Damn not. It. He Is gave he on me his way? the. Whoa! Oh, okay. Wow! Um, and just so you know, he said that. I don't know how you feel about it, but he said that the last time you talked was like 300 years ago, and it was. It stopped me if I'm saying something you already know, but you didn't want to ever talk to him again. And if that's not true, he said that like. You know, you could reach out to him, or he could reach out to you. Just throwing that out there. I don't want to stick my nose too far into your business. Sorry, 300 years? That's what he said. Um, Ida sits down, starts crying, and goes, I really wish Fig were here. Oh. I didn't know I was that old. Oh. oh. Well, you're kind of not. Um, I have notes from three previous lifetimes. Um, they go back about 150 years. And the very earliest note starts with an apology because me, or she destroyed all of my previous notes. She said she wanted to start over, be someone new, and then decades later she regretted it and started keeping notes again. Hmm. I hate her so much. You can't hate yourself. Yes, you can. It's very possible. No, I mean, it only hurts yourself if you hate yourself. Then in that case, someone a long time ago made a decision to try and get away from something and then made that decision for every person after them as well. Mm. Mm. Well. I mean, maybe next time around you can give yourself notes that say that you're allowed to make whatever choice you want. Yeah, it's really kind of, you can think about how much change you want to make in, you know, hundreds of years, and that's mm -hmm. really overwhelming. But if you think just each time it gets a little bit better. Yeah, you like, just have to be better than your parents. Exactly, yeah. And for but some in this of case, us, that's your really parent is easy. You. <laughs> yes. She... Laughs. Yeah, me and Kristen are <laughs> yeah, really I mean, I could just stop doing now great. And I'm, yeah, I've we're already brought so the far ahead. line forward twofold. <laughs> oh, yeah. For you, yeah, just your next lifetime. And your notes can be a little bit gentler and a little bit more positive, And it yeah. would make a huge difference. Gorgon's going to have to work really hard. His parents are amazing. Yeah, your parents, My parents are, are very amazing. sweet. Yeah, yeah. Cool parents. Um, I will process that in my own time. We oh. want to pretend like Fig is um, impersonating me and <laughs> hug me. She comes over. I don't want to kiss you, but I just, you know. Tracker looks over at you. And says, I, I, do, I just need Tracker to know this isn't a oh sex thing. Oh my god, thing. everyone stop hitting on my freaking girlfriend. <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> I feel like Fig uh, would be pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think uh, Gaff is really great, but find familiar. You can have all kinds of familiars. And I'm just prop, uh, as as a as a thing that maybe you could think about something cuddlier than a fish. Oh yeah, something you can touch. Because mm. if you're fire, I'm sure if you touch the fish, it would be a panini. <laughs> she, she looks at Delicious. looks at the fish <laughs> and says, "Oh, um, a more cuddly animal. Uh, yes, that makes sense. Something that you could hold, um, or like a really soft um, barbecue briquette." 
Oh, okay. Uh, you see, she says, Salamander. Well. Uh, she like says, salamander. I would like to get started on this research. Cool. Right. Yes. We got seven days with this and then it'll get... Uh, great. Do you want me to come with you? will take it back. She says, um, I brought what we need here. Oh, oh great. Awesome. Um, so we can do this right here. Let's do it. Cool. Amazing. Um, Anything else we should do? Yeah, so it's just, wait, all of time is just going to be frozen for seven <coughs> days? Um, uh, you see, she says, uh, yes, all the time will be frozen for seven days. I want to okay. kind of go, if, if anyone is free, I would love, anyone but Tracker, unfortunately, I would love to go look at that. Um, uh, oh, the shrine. The shrine again, yeah. yeah a couple well, of uh, uh, you, see, you see, remembering that Sklanda was able to walk through all of Elmville during the time freeze mm -hmm. back in freshman year, um, you will be able to go investigate that shrine in the seven day period if you stop it right now. Love it. Great. Cool. We just uh, have to make sure, I think, that the gate is open because we won't be able to open and close the gate if the time if time is stopped. Is that right? What gate? Can we open, like, aren't physical objects stopped or am I wrong? Um, uh, there is some ability to interact with okay. physical objects. Okay. Um, well, just wanted to clarify that before uh, we... You hit the watch. Um, uh, Adine and Ida hit the books and start to research the plane shift spell. Man. Um, as time is frozen, um, uh, uh, as you guys are doing all of that, um, we are going to go back to hell. Um, yeah. We're frozen. <laughs> and we're just going to be here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, That's back in hell. Said, baby. Um, so you find this, this clause here. Um, uh, you that beat him and you didn't lie. You said that it was vague, that he was defeated or something. Yeah. So you can't even get in trouble for lying in court. Yeah. Um, you guys hear a, a sort of hellish, like deep bell ringing elsewhere off in the pit. Uh, and you can feel like the tribunal is being called back to order. All, All right. right, shall we? Yeah, skateboard in. Motorcycle in. <laughs> and I make the noises while I ride an actual motorcycle. <laughs> I make some motorcycle noises for fun. <laughs> um, uh, very cool. Uh, you, uh, Hangman comes in. Uh, you see that Vraz, the mean, is there. Uh, that's the thing. You see Kaistrana, the chained, and uh, Lorzug, the impaled. Um, uh, you also see... Uh, that uh, Vraz uh, is once again like looking at a little sort of crystal infernal thing. God. <sighs> tap, tap, tap. tap. Uh, once again, Blozo will not be joining us today. Um, Blozo has said that he's waiting at his infernal domain because he got a window for people coming to repair part of his castle and they could be there anytime today. Yeah. So he's just got to stay there. Um, Truly hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once again, calling the Dark Tribunal to order in the case of Gorthalax the Insatiables. <sighs> uh, actually, my litigator, uh, Riz Gukgak, has some new information. Yes, um, we are doing some research and we believe our friend Fig here qualifies to take over Gorthalax's estate. Under what clause? Under the clause that I'm his daughter, as was Exhibit A, Baby is my blood, and he. I, I'm it. called baby now. <laughs> and then. <laughs> baby, what a bottle! I hate that he embraced it so much. <laughs> this is. I really. I invited everyone down here, but I don't think I can have anyone see me like this. So actually, maybe I'm gonna close off hell. Um, but I, uh, <clears throat> and then the second clause is that I defeated Gorthalax. You see that Kaistrana the chain goes, are you suggesting that this is some sort of coup? Yes. I physically put him into that gem and therefore defeated him. It was my hands that did the deed, thus defeating him. So give me my crown. <laughs> Go ahead and give me, because you've litigated this correctly, go ahead and give me a persuasion with advantage. Okay. Oh, come on. Hachi. Come on, Hachi. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Okay, I'm just going to go with that. Um, yep. That is going to be a 30. 
Seventeen and I have plus thirteen to persuade. Okay. Wow. Um, you see, Raz 13. looks over and says, "Oh, give me a fucking break! Oh my god!" So you, okay? So you committed a coup, and you see that uh, Laura's like the impaled, kind of twists his head to look at uh, Raz and go, ah! Ah! and she goes, "Fine, Lorzug." Okay, so you're what the new lady of the bottomless pit? <laughs> Regrettably, yes. It's not a pit I'm proud to be the lady of, but yes. So give me my hell passport. Give me my hell passport. That's not an insult. Just um, repeating what someone said. It's not an insult. Hiss at her, litigator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that uh, Kaistrana says, Kaistrana says, that hiss has been recorded in the official notes. Um, <laughs> Motion to hiss. Uh, you see that. Motion granted. Uh, you see that Vraz goes, Fine! Are you so special your little red bass <laughs> guitar? Is that purple in your hair? Are you different from the other girls? <laughs> um, actually, I think the most different thing about me is that I don't try to be different than the other girls. Ugh. You see that she literally <laughs> barfs lava? <laughs> <laughs> Fine! Uh, you see that Vraz gets up, walks around, and says, as executor pro tentate of Blozo the Undiminished, our secretary, I hereby bestow upon you dominionship over the bottomless pit. Do you accept the role of archdevil? I go, I go up and whisper in their ear. Yeah, hold on, I need to confer. This feels so fucked up. I don't want everyone to freaking come down here and me to be like, hey, I'm the archdevil, look at this bottomless pit. I'm bad. Seems pretty rad. So ask my litigator your legal advice. My legal advice would be that this is super rad. <laughs> Yes. This is really cool. Okay, <laughs> uh, then by the power invested in me, I invest you with dominion over the bottomless pit. She leans in real quick and smooches you on the lips. <laughs> I barf now. No. I barf with lava. <laughs> uh, you see that your lips uh, catch, literally catch fire, and she puts a thumb on your forehead, and you just hear <laughs> and a uh, upside down pentagram appears briefly in flame on your forehead. This was not part of the deal. This is literally how this has to happen legally. Um, the pentagram fades, the fire fades off your lips. Uh, you may mark on your character sheet, by the way, uh, as an arch devil. Uh, that you now, uh, your resistance to fire has now become full immunity oh, to fire. Damn. Wow. Uh, <coughs> uh, and you also have uh, resistance against poison damage as well. Nice. Wow. Nice. Hanging out with an uh, arch devil. Um, you see, Vraz goes back up arch to her devil? seat um, and says, uh, uh, very well. Um, your two litigators are free to go. However, she looks over at the hangman. This hellhound was not originally summoned from this domain and must be returned what? to its proper owners. What? I'll bring it. Um, you see, she says, oh, that won't be necessary, my lady. It will be brought. Um, you hear a voice coming up from the back of the courtroom, and you see a devil walking up. Uh, you guys give me a perception check. Come on, the ball. Come on. Uh, What's going on? Little beans. <laughs> little beans. 15. Uh, 11. Should I use a luck point? 15. Should I use luck point? How many do you have? Yeah, are you... Three? What's... No. Probably not. Okay. How many do you have left? One? I, I still have three. Okay. I haven't used any. Yeah, why not? Okay. 50 is pretty good. You don't want to yeah, lose it. Uh, yeah. You look at this devil walking up, very like calm, just like red, scaly devil. That's like a scroll, like a legal scroll, is like walking into the proceedings. This devil looks perfectly healthy, but you notice that it has a limp. There's something like wrong with its left leg. Um, you see that the devil walks up to the front, um, and Vraz says, Hello. Uh, the devil looks and says, uh, uh, Good evening. We be filing an injunction. Um, puts the scroll into the hand of Raz. It says, under what law? And you see the devil says, uh, the law be on the scroll. She unfurls the scroll and she goes, the law of the blade. 
and the illusion fades and Captain Bill Seacaster oh, yes! plunges a sword. Bill looks insane. He, uh, uh, instead of an eye patch, it is just a glowing red ember. His teeth are all smoldering coals. He's got one giant lava sword and two arms coming off the left side. So he's got one right arm, a giant scaly bony hooked arm up here and an arm wielding a flintlock pistol. You see he stabs through the scroll that's in front of her face, punctures her porcelain face and goes, Feed me, girl! You're not mine for the shanty! <laughs> I take out my base. Let's do this! Uh, the roof collapses in yes. as pirates smash through the ceiling Amazing. from a flying ship made out of a red dragon above. And you see that Bill Seacaster swoops you up in his arms. A bunch of horrifying, singed, burning hell zombie pirates grab the rest of you, including the hangman. Uh, the hangman goes, <laughs> Captain Seacaster, you saw it on the beacon! And whoom, you guys alight into the sky. Um, you see that uh, Bill <laughs> fires a flintlock pistol back at the remaining devils in the tribunal as uh, the ship whoo, wheels off into the fiery sky. Uh, what do you guys do as you land on the deck amidst all of his various pirates? I land on my skateboard and do a sick trick! Um, you see, he goes, he goes, that's right, girly, a sick trick at me. <laughs> oh, and I don't believe you've seen my new fine oh, ship, man. have you? No. Well, we owe you some honor, Miss Faith, for you see, our ship is a thinking ship, and when we christened it anew, we asked it what name would bother it the most. So, welcome aboard the Goldenrod. <laughs> <laughs> you see that the, the prow of the ship, which is just Calvatus' head, turns around and says, Oh no, <laughs> no, no, Don't no. Captain Seacaster, permission to pee on your ship. <laughs> oh, permission granted, boss. <laughs> Don't he says, on my screen, uh, you see, he says, Oh, a pearly dragon, he <laughs> leaps, like, Grabs a like, rope, swings to that, and smacks the dragon with the, with the flat of his blade. See the dragon, oh, please, do not again, anything but these children, I beg you. Um, heard of a poop deck, but a pee deck? <laughs> I say that to um, everyone else for no reason. Um, um, so, I think you're a little psychic. Um, uh, incredible. Um, so you see that Captain Bill looks around and says, we saw your beacon good and clear. We've had a devil of a time raiding these nine hells. Do I see there, hidden under the flesh, a little burning insignia in your forehead, me girl? Yeah, I'm an arch devil now. I suck. An arch devil? And yeah. why would you think that sucks? Because I rule over a domain of a pit that swallows murderers and liars and thieves, and I don't know how I'm gonna explain he it to everyone. He grabs there. you and brings you close. He reeks of blood and cinders. <laughs> he brings you real close, and again, his just burning eye and his coal teeth, as he says, you have to have a dominion? No, you don't have to have anything. I am a being of pure chaos, and I reside here in the Nine Hells, and who can stop me? All their little scrolls and laws and signatures. There's only one law, lass, and you know what that law is. She! Law of the blade. Law of the blade! <laughs> <laughs> yes, fire your gun! All right. We've got you now. Where to, me lass and lad? Well, Silver. Silver next? Or, or, uh, lower level of hell, we gotta get my right. dad out. Yes, of course, I'm so sorry. We're going to get, we're going to save Pop Gucka. Oh, your pa's here? Yes, yes. Well, I would love to meet your good, your good old pa. We can talk about <coughs> how our two boys have become such good friends. Yes, we're best friends. <laughs> ah, that ye are. All right. We're going to the second level, the Iron City of Dis of Dis. Let's have those cannons at the ready, lads. Um, you turn around and see a young tiefling, who the back of his oh. skull is missing, oh, almost like it was yeah. chewed through, <laughs> and there's just a ball of fire in the basin of his empty skull. Whips around, covered in gold, oh. and says, "Hi, Arthur. Oh, hi hey, there. Nice to see you. It's me, Alistair." You made it, Alistair. Guess you, you made it. It. It's a dream. <laughs> it's a 
dream come true. It's a dream come true. So actually, Fabian did you and your friends a song. Oh, if I ever see Fabian, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Okay. For sure. Oh, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's amazing. I'm a pirate. I'm a part of the crew of the Golden Rod. And all I, you know, it, it only costs me about 50 gold pieces a You're month. You're paying to be here. You're still paying. Uh, you see that Bill has taken the helm and goes, he's being paid in exposure. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be able to work on any pirate ship after he works here for a thousand years. <laughs> he's interning on a pirate ship. <laughs> um, uh, you see, uh, Alice says, make the guns ready. Um, you see that uh, up at the front, Calvaxis goes, oh, not a, and a big cannon comes out of his mouth. Can I um, start, can I start screaming? Scratching graffiti into Calvaxis? <laughs> uh, you absolutely can. Nice. Um, you see, Bill says, I love it! Mr. Ass, take him upside down! And you see that Calvaxis begins to fly into the sky, turn upside down. The gravity remains the same. And he says, take her under! And you see that Calvaxis begins to head for the sky of fire as fast as he can. See, you didn't need Kalina. Uh, we are going to uh, cut back, as crazy it is, to Arborly. God. Oh. Um, uh, incredible. Um, Fig wouldn't forget to ask about dragon madness after I explicitly <laughs> sent her that very clear message about it, right? It was the PPS. Right? Everybody reads the PPS. PPS yes. is the most the important part. Reader, it's the last honestly. thing you read. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I skipped to the end of the letter, check the PPS, go read the letter for context. Yeah. Uh, incredible. Um, uh, are those guys in Arbally, uh, is there anything that you guys would be, you would investigate the shrine? I would like to, yeah. Uh, go ahead and just give me an investigation check. Uh, can I give uh, them the help, actually? Yes, you can. Hey, two thirteens. Is that lucky? Wait, so we're um, here for seven days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you have a lot of time. Can, you, can we have some just bardic inspiration? Just yes, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do a lot of pulling people into sheets. I believe in you. Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> I believe in you. Spring break. Spring break. I believe in you. Spring break. Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, so that's a fourteen. Oh, you can uh, add a D six. A... I'm just a D six. Yeah. Don't you? Day. Don't sell yourself. One day I'll D6. be a D six. <laughs> One day. Four. All right, baby. <laughs> That's an eighteen, honey. <laughs> Uh, an 18 <laughs> investigation. Yeah. Um, you go back and find a lot of the same stuff there. It's a pretty, pretty ruined, like abandoned type of place. Um, uh, Can I start drawing this face that I'm seeing on the wall? Yes. Can I do a sketch of it myself? Uh, as you do, you remember that dream. Yeah, that's why I want to do it. Uh, go ahead and make a religion check for me. Hell yeah. That comes with advantage. Ooh. Um, that's pretty good. 20. Nat, not nat. 20, not nat. Um, your spirit guardians begin to appear around you. Mm -hmm. um, you see, uh, they look at you, and you see they, they're in their like, spectral little coffee shop tables with their little cortados. See, so one of them looks up and is like, what you drawing there, Kristen? Um, so, this is a god. And this, I think, is the only picture of this god. Oh, all right. Uh, you see that uh, one of them says, like, you're a, uh... yeah, I guess, I guess for like academic reasons, it's good to like draw it, but you know, just another god. This is another thing that's sort of fake or doesn't really <clears throat> matter. No, I'm actually, I'm interested in the tenants in a real way. I, I could see maybe getting really into this god. You know, Tracker has a moon, and then this is a sister. I, I could see that working really well. Yeah. <laughs> working this really could be well. My god. You see, this it says working really well. You see, another one says nothing works really well. That's the point. Nothing ever works. There's always something more to criticize. <sighs> You know what, you guys, <clears throat> I didn't want to say this, but I, I might be moving on from this phase. Cortaro, the everything's wrong. I, uh, I might be a Yerba Mate person and, uh, and looking for maybe some sort of truth and, and trying to, you know, follow it. Not Helio, you know. You, know, you see that one of them says, there is no truth. 
Uh, you see that another one turns to the one that said that and said, well, that's a pretty absolute statement. There definitively is no truth. And you see that a third one looks and says, well, don't criticize that because you're doing that from the same place of certainty that that person's doing. Yeah, that. see, what I'm talking about here is you guys are all talking in like some big marble chamber with big books and like, I want to have like kids, I want to be a good friend of my friend, you know what I mean? It's just like, in the little minutia of real human life, I think I need some more answers than everything's wrong, everything's broken, let me drink a Cortado alone in this coffee shop. Those guardians are released. <sighs> and the there's a fear of, of knowing that like those spirit guardians won't answer your call again. You'll need to find new ones. But you also feel your shoulders relax as you realize that with those spirits around you, you always had your shoulders tense because no belief was beyond reproach and there was never a conviction you could hold without the fear of seeming stupid or silly around. Yeah, totally. Um, you, uh, that's what you find. You return. Uh, Was you, I able to draw this? You were perfectly able to draw this. Uh, tracker, uh, who cannot enter the shrine, is able to look at this drawing. Cool. Uh, and she gets really emotional in a way that's sort of just like, she's not like sad or anything. She's just like, you know, like you get just raw emotional, just like a lot of feeling. She gets like very emotional. It's like, I don't know why, but I think that's really important that you did that. Cool. Um, you guys return to Holly Hill. At the end of this sort of magical seven days, uh, Ida has uh, calmed down pretty significantly. Adine, and you're like a very good presence for her. Um, uh, Just rolling my, my portents. Yes. Um, you guys. Could I have uh, tried to have gotten smarter? <laughs> tried to have gotten smarter? Uh, give me a flat intelligence roll. <laughs> okay, negative one to this. Do you have any bardic? Of course he does. Oh yeah, All spring right. break. Spring break, I believe in you. <laughs> 17, wait, 16? 16, 17. What's your intelligence right now? Eight. Your intelligence goes up to nine. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, great. Can I, can I do the same? <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> Only Zach. Uh, <laughs> Only Zach. I love it. Not even using your character. Hell yeah. If it makes you feel any better, the eight and nine have the same, same modifier. modifier yeah. um, uh, you see that uh, at the end of that week. <laughs> um, uh, your pencil doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, you guys, uh, finally, you have uh, researched the plane shift spell, uh, which Ida is powerful enough to cast. Yes, I am not. Um, uh, during that period of time, um, uh, as you guys are researching that spell very feverishly, uh, in some of like the downtime breaks, mm -hmm. uh, you notice that Ida is working on like a little side project, just like a little small thing. You don't see it, she like hides it away from you, but she's like working on something uh, that she won't tell you about. But you guys finished Plane Shift at the end of that week, um, uh, and you see uh, you guys prepare to Plane Shift. Uh, are you Plane Shifting with every single thing? Are you leaving like the hang van here? Or you, I assume you're like Plane Shifting with just like... Um, just, I mean, Do you want to, it's up to eight people. Can um, we check in with <clears throat> the hang So we can bring everyone. We... Yes. Hagman? Sire, we need you right now! What? Right now! What? Uh, right now! We should, why didn't you say something to me earlier? When, uh, what I forgot we could do this, I'm sorry! I mean, I so did I, kind of. Rod. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> where are you? Where, where are you? Right left. Now. We froze time for seven days and are coming directly to wherever you are. Um, you see that Ida casts Plane Shift? It's Sandra Lynn, Baxter, Rog, Tracker, um, uh, and then the four of you, hang vans being left behind, and you guys appear um, in a blast of flame, um, standing suddenly on the upside down deck of the <laughs> Golden Rod. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> um, you look all the way up at the helm and you see monstrous devil. Again, like huge, like Akira, like devil arm with a bony hook, ember eye. You see the devil of your father look down and go, my darling boy! Oh, papa! Look out! And you see Alistair Ash swings a sword right at your head. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, Alistair, I'm sorry. I've come a long I'm way. I'm gonna need everyone here to roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, uh, keep your rolls oh recorded God. right now. You see that as Alistair starts swinging at Fabian wildly, uh, hosts of devils start to pour out of the bottomless pit as Vraz the Mean points up at the sky, uh, whirling after you. You see that um, Ida looks over at you and says, Fig! Ida! I told everyone we kissed. Was that normal? Fuck! <laughs> um, you see, she says, all right, there's devils coming. I, uh, it's important, you're important. Um, she uh, just takes a light, like descends, is upside down, spreads her wings, and opens up a portal that you see is not Phoenix fire magic, but nautical signs. And you see that she begins to open up a nautical portal and pure ocean just starts pouring onto the plain of Avernus. Wow. Just, oh. Adam, what are you doing? I'm going to flood hell. This is the top, and it only goes down from here. I don't think the physics no, of that makes sense. No, we can't. We have to get to the second level. We have to save. You call off the water. We have to get to the second <laughs> level. Can, 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 can. I've changed. You're going to die. Are you going to work here on this ship with me? Are you using uh, a sheet? Don't uh, use the sheet. I'm going to keep you pinned to the deck, and I'm going to get chungled down, bam, to come shit your back. <laughs> all right, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, uh, you see that uh, all of you begin to sail. Uh, you see that the captain says, fight him all. Off, my boy, you can fight him off. All right, you keep that half Phoenix working on that ocean spell. And besides, I wouldn't worry about these devils. With the amount of money I'm making, it's not just one ship that I have to worry about. Peeling out of the sky of fire, dozens of hellish pirate ships made from dragon carcasses, rock carcasses, all these giant flying creatures pirated by these cinder zombies begin to pour out of the sky. And he says, to the second level and lay waste to all the damn souls therein. To war, me hearties. And that's it for this ah, week ah, ah, on ah, Fantasy ah, High. Really? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Things just went. W-T-H. We were just hanging out.